Hey guys, Ivan here at ivanmana.com. In this video, I want to show you how to promote ClickBank products using YouTube ads, something you have been asking me for a while now. This will be a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough, basically a course. If you don't know anything at all about affiliate marketing, this is the perfect video for you. This is very beginner friendly. We're gonna go from start, from the very beginning, all the way to the end. All right, for those of you that don't know me or this channel, welcome, my name is Ivan. I have generated a full-time income working from home doing affiliate marketing for the past four years. And on this channel, I teach you how to use these tools that can make it happen for you, all right? So if you enjoy this type of content, guys, make sure to hit like and subscribe and hit the notification bell icon so you get notified when I release new videos just like this. That being said, let's get into the agenda of what exactly we're going to cover today. There will be timestamps in this video, like little, uh, you know, table of contents as they have now on YouTube. So you can skip around if you know a section or two, feel free to take a look at those table of contents and just go to the part that you want to see the most. So for step one, we are going to create a Google ads account. In order to create YouTube ads, you have to create a Google ads account. If you have a Google ads account, great. Go to ads.google.com and sign up. If not, we will create a new account. I'll show you the steps. The next thing we're going to do is select a ClickBank product. Obviously, we have to select the product to promote ClickBank product on uh, using YouTube ads, right? So we're going to do that next. I'll give you some hints, some, some tips, you know, along the way, I'll be giving out pieces of information that I gathered over my four years. The next thing we're going to do is create a landing and thank you page. Yes, you do need a landing, at least a landing page. If you're doing YouTube ads, you may think that just because you have the video, that's all you need. That is not necessarily true. Your video is basically an ad. So your video will redirect people to a page. And in this case, it's going to be our landing page. We're going to collect people's emails. We're going to send them to a thank you page and then we're going to send them to the affiliate offer. Okay, so we're going to set everything up. Don't worry if you don't know how to do something. We will then set up conversion tracking. Incredibly important, guys. You can't go in the dark. You have to know what converts, what works, what doesn't. I'm a strong advocate. Again, those of you that followed me for the past four years, you know this by heart now, right? Uh, that I, I really, really strongly not even suggest you basically have to use tracking in order to promote because otherwise you'll be throwing money out and you have no idea what works, what doesn't. So we'll, we will do that together. We will then find a video to use. So we do need a video. A video is basically going to be our ad using YouTube ads, right? Um, there are three approaches, at least three approaches that we'll be covering here in this video that you can use to create videos or have the videos ready to use. Uh, so we'll go through them and we're going to use one of the approaches to create our video. And next, we're going to set up an autoresponder. So we want to send out emails. You know, nowadays you have to build trust. So sending out emails where you provide people with information with value is the way to go. And then finally, the moment we've all been waiting for, we're going to promote on YouTube. I'm going to show you the step-by-step -step process, how to create the ad, how to run it. By the end of this video, guys, you will have done the basic definition of what affiliate marketing is. Okay. This is the whole process. This is the whole journey. What you're going to do is use this for any product you want. It doesn't have to be ClickBank. It can be any affiliate product. This is the status quo kind of the process for affiliate marketing okay so that out of the way let's do the first part which is create a google ads account so we will be coming back to this sheet uh just to kind of you know keep a checklist see where we're at so the first part is create a google ads account let's head over to our handy dandy word sheet and we're gonna head over to ads.google.com okay now i already have it open here ads.google.com your URL might look a little bit different depending on your country, but just type in ads.google.com and you'll be redirected to the appropriate page. If you have a Google Ads account, great. Click on sign in, go to the next step, okay? If you don't, you're gonna click on start now. You don't need a Gmail account to create a Google Ads account. I suggest it. I have a G Suite account, which is just the Gmail. It's, it's a fancy way of saying Gmail account. Um, but it allows you to, I believe, just it's easier to switch between Google Analytics, Google Tag Manager, and all these other Google ad services. To me, at least, it's easier to switch if I use a Gmail account, but you don't have to. So click on start now, do the little, you know, application process. They, they might ask you, I think they ask you for uh, your name, for your phone number to verify, for your date of birth, something like that, you know, basic stuff, fill that in. And once you do that, the next page you will see is will look something like this. So once you fill in all those basic details, you will come across this page. Now, this is what is important to mention because you shouldn't select any one of these options. 
and let's remove that from Chrome. You shouldn't select any one of these options. If you do, what Google does is it kind of handicaps you. This is made for really beginner, beginner noob advertisers. Um, and they strip a lot of options for you, a lot of customization options. So I really wouldn't suggest you select any one of these. This is called Express Google AdWords. Don't do that, guys. First of all, it takes away a lot of options. You don't want that. Nobody, you know, the professional marketers, the ones that are making lots of money, none of them are using AdWords Express because there's no options there. Second of all, I'm here, guys. I am going to show you the way and how to make this work in expert mode, okay? I have tons of other videos. I have courses, guys. There's lots of resources. Don't use, don't select any one of these options. Click on switch to expert mode at the bottom. Google Ads changes their interface quite often or not changes. They say split test and they do change it as well. Um, so it might say something else. Basically what you wanna do is look for the option that says go to expert mode or it'll say go to advanced mode or whatever, okay? Click that option. And next you're gonna land on a page that looks like this. And now you're saying, okay, well, what campaign should I create? Don't create a campaign yet. Click on create an account without a campaign. Don't worry about campaign for now. We're not ready yet, guys. We're just creating our Google Ads account to have something. Click on create an account without a campaign. As soon as you do that, you will land upon a blank page that looks like this. Now in my case, it's not blank, just because I created a bunch of test campaigns for my videos, for my courses. So don't worry about this, uh, but you will just come across a page like this. It'll say, you know, campaigns, none, create a campaign. That's where you wanna be, okay? Stay there and that is your step one, okay? You have successfully created a Google Ads account. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know what you need help with. I try to respond as soon as possible. Um, so just let me know that out of the way, let's head back over to our handy dandy PowerPoint. Let's, yeah, we can put a little plus sign. Let's maybe bold it to say that we completed this part. Now let's go down the checklist. So the next thing we're going to do is select a ClickBank product. So we're going to again, head over to our other handy dandy tool, our Microsoft word and, uh, use this URL. Okay. So ClickBank. Now I already have it signed in. I'm trying to save some time. So head over to ClickBank and sign it be honest guys if you don't have a clickbank account be honest present your real information uh, i've had it happen I've, I've i've seen it happen where if you put like a fake address or fake email or something they will ban you right so literally you don't want that to happen so all you're gonna do is simply uh enter real real information sign up it's really a simple process you should get approved right away okay there shouldn't be a delay and once you're in your clickbank account you're gonna click on here marketplace and we're gonna fish for our product, okay? Now, you have all these categories here on the left-hand side. You can click on this little magnifying glass and you can sort products by rank. So rank is like popularity, the most popular products. You can sort by all these different options. I'm not gonna go into a detailed ClickBank tutorial here. That's not what this video is about. But what we will do is we're just gonna scroll down here. We're gonna find a good product. Um, we've promoted a bunch of these, by the way, we have promoted, I believe proven, I have to check. We have promoted research. We promoted steel bite pro diabetes, freedom, Ted's woodworking guys. If you enjoy this type of content, if you want to see me promote these, make sure to check this channel out. Just go to Yvonne Mana on YouTube and you will see videos where I promote this. I show you how to promote this on, um, you know, using various other tools. So we've promoted a bunch of these products. Take a look. Um, now I have kind of select pre-selected a product. Uh, which is Ted's Woodworking. We already ran this, but there's a reason why I selected this and we'll get into it. But let's suppose we wanna promote this product, okay? So Ted's Woodworking. And again, you can promote any product. It doesn't matter at all what you promote. The process is exactly the same. So we're gonna click here and this is our product that we're gonna promote, okay? So Ted's Woodworking. Now, what I always tell you guys to do, always, you know, this is one of those useful tips that I was talking about always check the affiliate page. It is very important. You want to go through the affiliate terms and conditions. So you want to go through this and you want to see if they have any restrictions. We're promoting YouTube ads. You want to see if they have any restrictions, guys. Okay, so very important because some of the products do. They say you're not allowed to promote on Google. You're not allowed to promote, uh, you know, to use certain keywords. You're not allowed to do YouTube ads. So pay the attention to that. You don't want to be suspended, okay? So I just happen to know this product. I've been promoting this for quite a while myself. Um, I know they're pretty loose. They're pretty relaxed with their terms. They allow you to really do anything as long as you're promoting them, right? D take this, you know, don't, don't take what I'm saying for granted. Take it lightly. 
Uh, but when I was contacting their affiliate team, they were really chill. Like I asked, can I use this image? They said, yeah, can I use your landing page? Yeah, no problem. They allowed me to do basically anything I asked. Uh, just obviously don't cheat, don't scam, and you should be good to go. But uh, yeah, so this is our affiliate page. So you just wanna go through and kind of look through the terms. So over here, maybe affiliate agreement and terms, you wanna just take a look, guys. This is important, right? Again, I already looked through this, this is fine. Um, we're not kind of breaking any of their terms, but for other products, right? I'm assuming you're gonna be promoting other products too, not only Ted's Woodworking for Life, you wanna go through and read the terms, okay? So that being said, I can safely say that we have selected our product, okay? So we're gonna head over into our PowerPoint. We're gonna put a little plus sign here. We're gonna bold it. And now we have to do five more things. So let's create a landing page and thank you page. Then we'll do all the other stuff first. So uh, let's go back to our Word document. Uh, we are gonna be using Unbounce to create the landing page. So let me go ahead and quickly, we're gonna copy this link. We're gonna come back here and I'm going to paste it and go. And this is my affiliate link for Unbounce, but I don't suggest anything I don't use or strongly suggest myself. Um, I've been using Unbounce for the past year or so. I changed from ClickFunnels. I very, very much prefer them over ClickFunnels. I switched from ClickFunnels just because they give you so many more options to uh, put your elements anywhere you want on the page. Like in ClickFunnels or some builders, you have to put it in blocks, like here, then block, block. In Unbounce, it's very free moving. You have so much freedom and I'm all about control. I'm all about control of the page and do whatever I want on the page. And Unbounce allows me to do that without requiring coding, okay? That's that's important. So we're gonna be using Unbounce. Uh, if you use my affiliate link, I do give you an exclusive 14 day trial plus 20% off for the next three months after you sign up. So this is an offer you can't get just by going to Unbounce. So definitely check out my link. Um, now, I already have an account, so I'm not gonna start my 14 day free trial. What I will do though, is I'm just gonna quickly sign up uh, or sign in to my Unbounce account and I will see you on the other side. A few moments later. So welcome back. This is what you should see once you sign in to Unbounce or sign up if you haven't on your free trial. Um, you'll see everything the same minus all these pages I have, which again, I used for my own products and for testing and to, you know, to show you guys. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on create new, okay? And we're gonna select the template. We're not gonna build the page completely from scratch. If you wanna see how to do that, I show you, I do have a video showing you how to build a 50, almost 53% conversion rate on balance landing page completely from scratch. So take a look at that video if you wanna see me build it completely from scratch. We're gonna be using a template just for simplicity. So you can go through this, kind of take a look at the templates. If you select one, uh, you know, this is gonna show you what this looks like. So you can scroll down and see roughly what it's gonna look like before you uh, start with the template. So for our product, let's say Ted's Woodworking, um, you know, we can spend all day looking for it. Let's suppose we wanna do something like this one, let's see. Yeah, so I believe we already used this template for another one of our offers, but I like it. I think it's, you know, it's got that headline at the top and a button. So I like the way this works. So let's name this, let's say Ted's Woodworking and let's say YouTube, because I think I already have a Ted's Woodworking page. So we'll say start and we'll be taken right into the edit screen. Okay, so here, this is where we're gonna edit it. We're gonna play around with it. Um, now, generally it's a good practice to not say you're the product you're promoting. So if you are, you know, promoting Ted's Woodworking, it's generally not a good idea to say, hey, I am Ted's Woodworking. So we're gonna create another name. Uh, I know Ted's, they're, they're actually pretty okay with it, but just to be safe for other products, we don't wanna do that. So let's start off here at the top. You know, here, these are sections here, right? So you see here, there's like a little dashed outline around all these options. These are different sections and we're gonna be putting elements into them. So the first thing we wanna do is create uh, like a, a logo, right? Now you could copy paste the Ted's Woodworking logo. Like I said, generally, I, they shouldn't have an issue with that. They're pretty relaxed, but for other companies, you might not be able to do that. So what I like to do is instead is drag this text here and make up a name. So let's say, you know, we're a landing page devoted to some woodwork products. So we can say, let's say Woodworking Extreme, for example, okay? And this is the name of our brand, right? We're gonna create like a domain around this, all that fun stuff. So let's say Woodworking Extreme is our name. Now you'll see the font size is super small. So we're gonna select all of that. We're gonna come over here and we're gonna increase the size here a little bit. Maybe make it 22. And we can drag that like this, make it all fit. Okay, and let's suppose, right? Let's imagine this is gonna be our logo. Um, that looks pretty good to me, actually. I thought we should change the font, but I think we should be good without it. So we can, maybe let's bold this. 
and we'll need to add a little bit more space. And that actually looks better than I thought. Uh, I don't think we have to do anything else. This is our logo, okay? Uh, woodworking stream. So I'm gonna delete this by clicking the backspace key. You can also delete an element by clicking delete here. So pretty simple. Uh, we're just gonna go from top to bottom, guys. So we're gonna change this background. You can move, like if you want to move the, the width of your page here, you can move it like that. I'm gonna click Control Z to go back to where I was. And over here, or you can click undo or redo here, uh, we will change the background. And if you wanna increase the size of a section, you can go in and increase the size like that. So super simple guys, drag and drop, but it gives you more flexibility than click funnels. And it has the dynamic keyword insertion tool, which I won't go over here, but check out my other video where I show you how that works, because that is pretty cool too. So uh, let's start off with our headline. So what we're doing here is for this product, what exactly are we gonna do? Let's see. Okay, so we have 14,000 plans. Now, let's go to the affiliate section real quick. I believe what these guys give you the ability to do is they uh, give you like a free guide, okay? So let's go into our affiliate tools here. Let's scroll down. I believe what they do is they give you uh, free plans, like free 50 plans, okay? And we can use that to get people to sign up, okay? So we're gonna go into here. Uh, let's go and see kind of what they have. Okay, so you have several options you can do here. One is you can actually go to this page here. You can enter your name and email, your real name and email, and you will be sent the free 50 woodworking plans. You can download that, and then you can use that yourself to give to people. And then on our landing page, we could say, hey, sign up to get your free plans, and then you're gonna give those plans. Alternatively, what we can do and what we're gonna do here is we can take people from our landing page to our thank you page, and then we can send people here to this page, okay? So this is gonna be the affiliate link we're gonna be using, and this is where people are going to um, get their free guide. So over here, we go here, after our landing page, we'll, we'll send people to the thank you page, and then here, and then this is where they download. Now the reason why we're using our own thank you page rather than taking people from landing page to here is so we can set up tracking for our thank you page, so we can see how many people actually signed up because that's important for our optimization purposes. If someone doesn't necessarily buy, we wanna see how many people at least signed up, okay? So that's the plan. We're gonna be sending people to this page after they sign up to our landing page. So what we wanna do is now we wanna say, hey, we're gonna give you free woodworking plans, right? So let's get over here. Let's, uh, we can keep that for now because we'll need, that. that's the affiliate link we're gonna be using, remember. So what we wanna say over here is, for example, uh, get, instant access to free and then we can say to a free um, I believe this is no this is 440 pages sorry uh, 50 I believe it's 50 woodworking plans but it's 440 pages so 40 step by yeah 40 step by step plans so we can say uh, get instant access to free woodworking guide 40 plus plans and 444 pages okay so something like that i'm sure we can word it better in fact we probably will i don't like the way that's worded um let's just see let's just make sure now over here it says 40 i believe it's actually 50. um pretty sure it was actually 50. yeah okay so over here it's 40 but then over here see it says um it says 50 free plans so kind of confusing Probably a good idea for us to download this ourselves and just kind of take a look and see if there's actually 50 plans. But we're just gonna leave it as is, let's say 40. So get instant access and we're gonna move this, don't worry, so we're just gonna, we'll, we will make it look nice. Uh, we're gonna move that a bit out of the way. Let's delete this button because we have to add a form, but we're gonna say get instant access to free, um, to let's say, to 40, oops, to 40 free woodworking plans and 444 pages worth of, what is exactly worth of solid content, I guess? Worth of step-by-step -step plans, okay? So let's say worth of step-by-step -step, um, plans, okay? I don't like the font here, to be honest, so what we can do is let's go back to our main, uh, where's our main? sales page let's go to our main sales page let's see what font they're using ah this is kind of tough i mean this font it looks like looks more of an image than a font what i like to do is i like to go here click on inspect 
and then kind of see what font they're using. Yeah, so this looks like it's an image. It's not actually font. Uh, but let's go over here and see what this is. Yeah, this is Open Sans. So that's actually the font that I really like to use anyway. So let's go over here and let's, we're gonna go into family and let's select Open Sans and see if it's here. Now, if you don't see it here, uh, you can click on add remove font and then let's type in Open Sans and then here it is. So we can click there and there's, you know, there's a bunch of different variations. It has 10 styles, so we'll click done. And now we're gonna, let's remove that. Let's click Open Sans and let's do Open Sans regular. Okay, so that looks okay to me. Uh, well, this is all bolded, I think. So let's unbold it. And then we're gonna bold it. Um, yeah, that's bolded. And then we're gonna bold it as we see fit, okay? So let's play around. Let's make this a little bit bigger here. Get instant access. So what I like to do is let's underline this. Uh, let's underline, get instant access to 40, free. Maybe let's bold that. Do they have any sort of color here, like aside from the red? Uh, let's see, where's our sales page here? Yeah, so I mean, I guess they have this red, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this extension called Colorzilla, and I'm gonna take it, click on it. It's called Colorzilla if you wanna download it on Chrome. Drag it over here, and now I have the color code copied. So now what I'm gonna do is come back here, and this was 16,000 wood plans, right? So maybe uh, 40 free wood plans. And what should we make red? Let me see, 444 pages. Uh, not worth, 444 pages of step-by-step. -step. Uh, let's say instructions, let's say the detailed instructions. And then 444 pages, 440. I'm gonna go into text color, I'm gonna control V to paste and I'm gonna remove that little sign there. And here it is, okay, and this is red. And don't worry about the background, we will change it. But let's select that. Let's maybe also bold it. 440 pages. Okay. Now it's got a little white underline. You can't do that here, but I think that's okay for us here. And the background, it looks like a wooden background, right? So here's another thing we could do. If we go to inspect, if we go to console, uh, sorry, sources, let's see if we can find this background image. So we're looking for this background. Yeah, it looks like this one, right? So let's see if we can use this. So we're going to... Um, uh, open a new tab. Yeah, so that is the background we want to use, right? It's like a wooden background. That's the same one we want to use. Now, like I said, this is okay with Ted's Woodworking because I know that they're okay with it. Um, if it's a different product, you always want to confirm if it's okay. If it doesn't explicitly say that you can use your images, you want to email them and just double check. You don't want to go into any sort of copyright issues, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and we're just going to copy this. We'll say save image as and let's name it, you know, let's name it um, just so we know what this is. Let's say wood background and we click save okay and now it's over here now let's head back over here now we we want to change this because we want to make this easier to see this is a bit hard to see and in fact let me see this is just the video right okay yeah so everything else is covered so now what we want to do is let's just change the background so it's so we can actually see what's going on so over here you see the image so what we want to do is we want to click on change image so i'm just going to go ahead and drag this right over here wait for it to upload and now we see it here we'll click choose now you might notice that it has this kind of you know it doesn't look anything like the image that we copied so we want to head over into advanced settings and over here you'll see there is a color overlay so this is actually something i really like in unbounce because for images where they're very dark you can add like a white color overlay it makes it much easier to see in this case, we don't want any of that, right? So we're just gonna remove this. So we're gonna make opacity zero. And now we can actually see everything, okay? And that's the background. And we just added the background image to this specific section. What we could have done is added the background to the entire kind of entire page, okay? Uh, we don't have to do that. We can just change the background for every section, but this is what you would do here. So if you wanna do that, uh, you just add the background here, select here, go to image, okay? So you can do that. Doesn't matter how you do it, either way is really fine. And over here now, this is black, so we want to change this all to black as well. So let's select this and text color. We want to make it black, except for that, right? So that we wanted to make red. So we're going to, again, we're going to select it. Again, I'm going to paste that color that I copied. And there you go, okay? So looks fairly similar to this. Uh, I can't say that I'm super happy with the page yet, but let's keep going and hopefully it should look much better. So this over here, let's make this into maybe grayish or black. And over here, we want to say, you know, enter. Uh, we can say we don't need to do caps. Enter your name and email below and I'll send you the free plans. Okay. 
And then we don't want that monster rat as well. Let's go in and make this open sends again. I'm gonna click open sends regular, okay? So that looks good so far. Maybe let's make this a little bit bigger. Maybe 20. Okay, looks perfect. And now we're gonna add a little form here. We will kind of fill in all those other details as we go. Uh, it says here that your your view has affected mobile view. That's fine. We're not gonna um, we're not gonna play with the mobile view right now. But let's go in and add our form now. Okay, so over here we want to select form. We're just gonna drag it here. We're gonna say we want the name. We want the first name. Uh, but we want the first name first. And then over here we want to hide the label so we don't want it to say first name at the top. Instead, we want it to say enter your first name here inside the actual box just because it looks neater and we'll say dot 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 we will also make this a required field then we're going to go to email we'll do the same thing we're going to hide label we'll say enter your email here dot 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 we will also make this required and we we want to validate that it's a legitimate email address so people can't just enter their name and say that okay well that's my email right so we'll click done and here's our form okay so let's just close out of these annoying little things um, let's turn mobile view off so we stop getting the notifications I have a separate video devoted to mobile view, so if you want to learn how to do it for mobile as well, check that video out. Uh, for the time being, we will just focus on desktop, just creating the basic landing page. So we're going to expand this. We can go in and expand the button as well. Now, we want to make this a little bit bigger, right? So you'll see that it has a little bit of, um, it's a little bit like uh, small there. So we want to maybe use the space and maybe increase the height a little bit like that. And that looks much better, okay? So we can drag it here. Now, one thing I like to do is I also like to add arrows, right? Like a little arrow that points. Um, we don't have an arrow here. I believe I have an arrow here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag an image element. I like these arrows. And I'm gonna select this arrow here that I have. I already uploaded a while ago. I'm just gonna click on that, click choose. And now I have this arrow here. And as you can see, that's what I like about Unbalance, right? I can put these elements anywhere I want to. I can put it here if I want to. I like click funnels where you need coding if you wanna put it like right there. You'll need coding for that or if you want to put it here. So that looks good, okay? That looks okay. So there, you know, here's our woodworking plan. Maybe we want to add like a little image somewhere. Okay, that's up to you how you want to play around with it. I'm giving you the tools. I'm showing you how this works. And actually this doesn't look centered to me. So what I'm going to do is to make sure it's centered, I'm going to click on this option here and now it's centered, okay? And actually we probably want to do the same thing here. So we want to center that, we want to center that. Now for this one, there's just extra space here. So we want to remove that and we want to center that. And now this one we want to move here, okay? And now this looks much more centered. Okay, and that looks like a good start to our landing page, right? We can do that. Maybe do that. Okay. All right. Looks good enough. Um, let's change the button here. I'm not liking this button. Obviously, it says form button and it's red. Let's not make it red. Let's go back here and see if we can find maybe like orangey. We can make it orange, right? Let's see. We So again, the idea is we want to make this consistent, right? So this has like an orange gradient, okay? So we should be able to do that here as well. So let's click the button here and uh, we selected gradient here for the style. It, it can be a solid color or like I said, we can make gradient. So this color here is, let's see if we can use colorzilla to see what the base color is. Okay, so the top color there is light orange. So I'm gonna, we, we copied it. Let's go back in here and uh, that is the end. So that's the top color. So we're gonna go in here and we're gonna paste that color. We're gonna remove that little sign there. And this is now gonna be orange, but now we want the bottom color to be different as well. So we're gonna head back over here. And now we wanna take that darker color, the dark orange color, right? Cause we wanna make it as exact as possible. So the darker one is like right there. We're gonna come back here and we're gonna paste it. And let's remove that. And there you go. And eh, that doesn't quite look exactly right. So maybe, or, no, that looks better, right? Yeah, okay, that looks okay, that doesn't look too bad. Okay, so that's what our color will be. Now the text color is white, okay? So we're gonna make it white um, and we're gonna bold it, okay? And let's say instead of form button, let's say, send me the free plans now, okay? And then we're gonna increase the size a little bit. We're gonna change the font. We don't want it to be Montserrat. We're gonna, again, um, let's remove that and we'll make it Open sounds regular. Okay, that looks good. Um, I'm happy with that. Let me see if there's anything else we should do. Yeah, that looks pretty good. We can add this little effect as well. See how like this changes. Um, that's the that's the hover effect. So you want to click here, and then you want to click hover. Okay, 
And then you don't want to create an appearance based on offset. You can, but what you want to do is maybe just flip these colors. Okay. And now the hover is going to look like that, which is exactly what it looks like here when you hover over it. Okay. And we'll go back to up and that is it for this part. Okay. So let's go down here. Now we will have to integrate this with our autoresponder. Okay. So we will get there. Don't worry. Uh, for the time being, we'll just leave this as is. Uh, let's close out of that just to see what it looks like. Let's save. Now let's take a quick look. Let's preview the page, see what our work looks like so far. See if we're happy with it. Looks like this. So far, um, pretty happy with it, to be honest. Like I said, you could probably add like a little image here. So you could maybe, you know, shift this to the right hand side and add a little image on the left, which is what they have on their landing page. You could do that. Um, we could leave it as is, you know, this is fine as well. So let's go back to edit and for Google ads, generally, the more information you add, the better because they don't like pages. Now, this is especially true for sensitive niches. For this, it's probably okay. But for sensitive niches like weight loss or wealth, right? Health and wealth mainly, um, you want to add more information. They don't really allow standalone landing pages, which just says, hey, enter your name and email here. Uh, you generally want to add much more information. So that's what we have right here. Okay. So we're going to add some stuff here. I don't know if we need all of this. Um, so this one we probably don't need. So we can go in and delete that part. We just need this. Let's let's go from bottom to top here. I think it's going to be easier. So I'm going to go in. I'm going to control C to copy it, or you can just click copy right there. Come back here, select the section, control V, or you can just click paste. Okay. Either way is fine. And we're just going to add it here in the middle. We're going to click this button to center it uh, vertically. And then over here, we want to say copyright, you know, maybe we can make it bigger. Maybe not. It doesn't have to be, um, but I can't really see that even. So let's say copyright 2020. And this is, uh, let's say woodworking extreme. Woodworking extreme. Okay. And then what you could also do is you could say uh, privacy policy. Maybe double slash, you could say terms of use, double slash and disclaimer. And then, yeah, I mean, that's basically it. You could bold it. Let me see if that does anything. Yeah, that makes it a little easier to see. Uh, maybe remove that little period there. There's a little period at the top at, or at the end. Remove that. And we are in good shape, okay? So you can do that. And then if you want to link your actual um, disclaimer, right? Or terms of use or whatever. And let's center it here as well. Oops, not that way. I mean this way. Drag it back here. Uh, if you want to link that, like if you have an actual privacy policy, you can click here, click there. And what you're going to do is uh, you're going to link it here. So you're going to go into action and you're going to enter your URL here. Okay. Now, a lot of people, a lot of you guys have been asking me in the comments. So I'm going to address it here. Do you need like, don't you need a privacy policy to be approved on Google? Don't you need a terms of use? Isn't that mandatory? Um, so I'm, I'm going to speak from my experience. So first of all, in the, like in their terms of use, generally, yes, you do need a privacy policy, uh, terms of use. What I found in my experience is that unless I was in a super sensitive niche and there was something else wrong on the page, like my time, like my headline had too strong of a, uh, of a claim, like lose 50 pounds in two days, whatever. Um, they don't care generally about privacy policy terms of your disclaimer. Now, again, take this lightly, right? Uh, generally, you do want to have the privacy policy terms of use. But in my experience, I was able to get away with it. The only time they ever told me, oh, hey, your page doesn't have privacy policy is if there was something else wrong on the page. They never look at that as a standalone. Oh, your page doesn't have a privacy policy. Um, therefore, we're going to disapprove it. Again, this is my experience and this is mainly for non sensitive niches such as uh, health and wealth mainly, right? Maybe dating relationships, but that's just how my experience went. So we've done that. Let's again, let's start from bottom. Um, we want to change this maybe. So let's, you know, I don't know about this image. Uh, now I'm thinking, let me see if I have, I believe I have the actual image like this, right? Like one of these, um, which is the actual plan. So I'm going to go in and maybe what we can do is we can make this a little bigger. And I'm wondering now if we should actually just put that somewhere here. You know, we can leave that as is. We can leave it. Um, maybe we want to move this up top though. Okay. So yeah, so I'm going to delete it from here. We're going to move that up top over here. What we want to do though is let's change this image a bit. Let's um, maybe we should make it a solid color. Let's not make it difficult to see. Maybe we'll make it light. Oops. Let's try that again. Let's make it light gray, something like that. Okay. And then over here, yeah, I'm wondering if we should add it. Okay. Let's add two different images. Okay. So let's add an image here. So I'm going to click, drag this image here. Let's do like one of these maybe, and then we're going to add another image up top. So this is like for the actual product, or we can add this background. Shoot, huh? It's a lot of options here. 
Yeah, okay, let's do both. So let's add this, okay? So this is gonna be our... Okay, and this one is all white, okay? Like, or it has a white background, so we probably don't wanna do that. So let's make this white background as well so it blends in. And let's maybe make it a little bit bigger. Now these are images, by the way, you can download from the Ted's Woodworking page. So if you just go to their page or their affiliate resources, they give you all these images you can use, okay? So that's where I got them. I already had them before, uh, but what you would do is, for example, here's the affiliate resource page. Um, it would scroll down, scroll down like this, right? So you just click here, you click save image as, and that's where I got this from in case you guys are wondering. Um, then, you know, here's the woodworking plans. You can click and copy one of these. And the where I got my image from is from their landing page. So if you go to their, um, if you, and by the way, this is probably a really good image to use as well. That looks pretty cool. So we could probably use that too. But where I got my, like that image from where I, where I showed you is from their page, is from their, um, free plans page here, this one. So if you go to this page, you will copy that exact other image. And th again, they're fine with it, I asked them, right? So I know that they're good unless they changed their rules recently. Uh, and over here, let's say, get 444 pages, you know, worth of content, okay? And worth of detailed instructions, okay? And I maybe wanna increase the line space between them, there's a bit too little. Maybe, maybe a little bit more, 45, and that looks good. Okay, and then we want to add this little call to action. So the reason why we're adding this another call to action is because if people scroll through and kind of read everything, uh, we don't want them to forget that they have to sign up, right? So we're going to add this here and we'll say, um, over here we'll say, send me or give me instant access to the plans and then let's increase the size here a little bit again not Montserrat um, close that go in here make it regular make it a little bit bigger okay so something like that and then let's change the color too so we want to change the color of this we don't want to make it all red um, yeah it looks okay it's a little bit off to be honest looks a bit weird but that's okay eh, that's all right Maybe move this a little bit down actually yeah, that's okay. All right, so let's copy the color, right, of our other button. So we're going to go back here. Eh. Yeah, we'll copy both. Let's go in here. We're going to paste it. Oops, let's see, did not. There you go. Change. Yeah, make, make sure it changes before you kind of leave, because if, if you don't make sure that it saves, it sometimes doesn't. Then we're going to go here. Okay, and that's why the color was off. And then you want to click somewhere else, and that's when you know it's saved, okay? You want to do that. Uh, and then for the hover color, we'll go here as well. We will change them around and there you go. Okay. And now when someone clicks this, uh, so what we have to do is we have to take them back to the top. So we're going to take them back to the very top right here. So what we're going to do is let's select this option here. We're going to take this ID at the very bottom. See that ID at the bottom? We're going to copy it, come back down, go back here for the URL. We're going to paste it here and we're going to add a little number sign just before it. Okay. And then we'll select something here like go to url just click on it so it kind of saves locks in position and now when someone clicks that button they'll be taken all the way to the top reminding them that they have to sign up okay and that's the idea so let's save this again and we're good to go here so we have two more sections we'll quickly fill up so the first thing we're doing is let's do this little testimonial here so let's say what people like you are saying about these plans okay and then we'll say over ten thousand. Uh, it could be gentlemen. I believe Ted's woodworking is more so tailored towards men. So you could even leave it at gentlemen. Over 10,000 people worldwide um, have, oops, mouse keeps deselecting. I'm sorry. Have created, you know, let's say thousands of woodworking uh, projects worldwide thanks to these plans or something, okay? And that looks okay. Hey, let's see. Let's use the same background here because that looks, yeah, I don't like this. So let's go in here. Let's change this image. And we're going to select that. We'll click choose. And there you go. Eh, looks okay. And then we want to maybe change this to maybe white. Change that to white maybe. Maybe that's too much. Too much of a, let's make it a little bit. Okay, so this actually, this looks, um, this looks yellowish, right? It's kind of yellowish. I'm just trying to make it fit in a bit, guys. I'm a, I'm a, I'm a perfectionist. 
Uh, let's try to make it fit in a bit. Too much. Maybe like that. Now what you could also do is you could play with the opacity to make it kind of fit. Maybe something like this is okay. All right, so it's enough of a color difference to not be white, but it's still different. Uh, and then over here, we just want to add our testimonials, okay? So we can say, these plans helped me um, create, you know, the birdhouse my son always wanted. You know, we'll say thank you, and then what's the name of our you know, woodworking extreme? Thank you, woodworking extreme. Yeah, like that, and we'll say John Di John Diaper. Okay, and that looks okay. Eh, yeah, we can fill these in uh, these out. You know, I'm gonna. Let's maybe do one more. Uh, you know, these plans. Oh, let's not change it. Incredible. I wasn't able to find these plans anywhere else, and now I can finally make something. Okay, and we'll just leave it at that. We'll say Robert Swev. And you know, I was so bored without having something to do, and now. I finally came across these awesome plans. Okay, so I'm just making stuff up, guys. Maybe you want to use the real testimonials that they have. Like, they have real testimonials on there. This is their sales page. So we're going to go in here and um, kind of go through the list. And maybe, maybe you know, maybe use these testimonials, right? Real customers, real testimonials. Just use these. So you're going to, you can't copy paste because this is an image. Uh, but just basically copy paste using text, right? So maybe put this on notepad and paste it here. Okay, you get the idea. So that looks good for our, yeah, that looks good for our testimonials. Uh, let's go in here and let's add, so let's actually delete this, okay? So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna backspace, right? Uh, let's delete this. Let's add a little bit more information about this product here, okay? So we're gonna add a little bit more information. So let's drag this image here and let's use that other image that I was telling you about. So this one that I used from their landing page. Uh, we'll click choose. And you know what I want to try? Let me do one more thing here. Let me click on image. Uh, let me see if we can use this. Eh. <laughs> you know, probably not the best, but whatever. Let's let's go with it. Not too bad either. And we're going to do this. Yeah, this is kind of poor quality. It's because it was compressed. You want to go in there and kind of download a new fresh image. Uh, their image actually looks much better than this. Uh, maybe we don't want to apply. Yeah, no, nah, that doesn't do much. Okay, but we'll just leave it, right? Let's imagine that's that. And then let's provide some kind of, you know, a little bit more information here about what this product is. So what we can do is drag, let's drag a little text here and let's say what these plans contain, okay? And then let's make this, shoot, I don't even know what color to make it. Should we make it white or black? Yeah, no, you can't see white. We are gonna do black. And by the way, here's an example of where an overlay would probably come in handy. So let's go into advanced settings. Let's, you know, that would actually probably just make it so much easier to see, right? So that is probably a good example of when this overlay actually makes sense. Cause it's still like, you can still see the wood, but at the same time, it's not like dark wood, okay? So I'll be honest, the colors here aren't perfect guys, but this is how you would do it, okay? I'm just showing you the process. Those of you that are designers, you can play around with this. Uh, but we're gonna make this a little bit bigger. 26 and let's change this again I like open sans regular and maybe make this bold what these plans contain okay so something like that we're gonna drag text here and this one we want to use little dots there and we're gonna remove this oops again it deselects I am sorry okay so let's say 40 free woodworking plans we'll click next and let's expand that a little bit why is this is this italicized and bold we don't want that okay and also we want to align it left not center okay so we're just selecting all these options also there's not enough line spacing let's add way more line spacing maybe 32 okay so something like that uh, let's say so free 40 free woodworking plans 444 pages of instructions what else right like or maybe we don't even want to do that because they already know that um where is here so maybe we want to do this that covers here so these these are great points okay so let's do this so we're going to copy that and instead of doing that because people already know that that it's you know it contains all that we're going to paste that here and we're going to delete that we're going to delete that uh, we're going to 
and delete that. Let's see if we can use this again. There you go. And that looks good, uh, minus the fact that it's a bit small. I think it's a bit small. Let's do that. Maybe we'll increase. It's actually 24. Let's increase the space here. Oh, yeah, okay. Never, never mind. So this doesn't do anything because there's not enough. Um, still feel like we should increase the line just a bit, maybe like that. Okay, so something like this, all right? Um, you get the idea. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what this would maybe like that. Okay, and there you go, guys. Here's our, you know, basic landing page. Now, again, I'm not saying this is perfect, uh, but this is a fairly good landing page. You can, now that you know how to do this, this is how you would work around with it, okay? The only thing I'm not too happy about is the colors, but that'll do. I think this is fine. This looks fine. It tells people what they're gonna get. They're getting 40 free woodworking plants. Now, if you're targeting the right people, guys, this should work because you're targeting people that like woodworking, okay? So once, you know, you promote on Google, it's about targeting the right people. So the audience targeting is where, you know, the, the bulk of the work is. And that looks good, okay. So let's go back to overview. We're good with this landing page. Let's publish this page and then let's create our um, our thank you page. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna quickly change the URL. Now, I already added these URLs here, guys. I have a video uh, that shows you how to create a custom domain in Unbounce. Check that video out because basically what we're gonna do here is we're gonna use this domain called tedswoodwork.live. Um, now I know it's fine with them. In our case, since we created a name for our product, we should probably have done something different like the woodworkingextreme.com, which I actually already have. I just didn't add it here, but uh, we're gonna use Ted's, Ted's Woodwork Live. It should be fine for this example. And we'll say change URL and disregard this. You're not gonna get this message. I will, cause I have code on the page. Uh, we'll just say understand, okay? And now this URL should work. So we're gonna, we're gonna publish this, publish page and we'll give it a second to load and that's gonna be our landing page. Okay, we should be good to go here. And let's go ahead and preview this page. We'll open link in a new tab and here it is, okay? And here's what the plans contain. We'll come back up top and as you can see, it takes us to the top, boom. Now you might be thinking, okay, this is way too fast, right? Like if you click it, um, I do have a whole playlist devoted to Unbounce, guys. I have like 20 or 30 plus videos. One of them is smooth scroll, how to add the smooth scroll. So when you click on it, it slowly goes up, not like, so fast okay but that's it okay the domain is secure as you can see it has HTTPS so let's go back to our pages and let's create a thank you page now and then we should be good with that so one thing I'm gonna do here is let's also add this to a group okay so I'm gonna add a remove group let's add this let's create a new group let's say YouTube ads I don't think we have that group yet nope we're gonna create it and now this one should be in this group, YouTube ads. So now we can on the left hand side here, we'll go to YouTube ads and it's just easier for us to keep track of what we have. So let's do that. And over here, we'll click here. Let's duplicate this page and we're just going to do the same thing. Um, we're going to delete a lot of stuff, but we're going to make a thank you page out of this template. Okay. So let's click here again and we don't want to change the URL or no. So we do want to change the URL here and we want to say, you know, Ted's maybe thank you page or something. And we'll click change URL. Now we don't want to publish it yet. We could publish it. Let's first edit it. And then we should be good to go guys with the landing and thank you page. And that's pretty much the biggest bulk of the work here uh, aside from creating the actual YouTube ad. The rest of the stuff is fairly straightforward. So uh, we have that. What did we want to do? Yeah. So now we want to make a thank you page out of this. Okay. So what I'm going to do here is we can probably delete everything. So I'm going to backspace, backspace. Mm backspace okay and then what we want to do here is also backspace we don't need any of that uh, we don't need that we're just gonna give people a basic thank you for signing up we probably don't even need that as well to be honest but we can leave it there and we're just gonna add a button okay so we're just gonna add a button saying hey click here to get your plans and we're gonna send them to that page which we discussed right um, this one which was uh, it was let's see which one this was book download I believe it was this one okay for your own autoresponder so that's this perfect specific page now what's the difference um, sending free plans yes yeah, so it's one of these let me just see what the difference between these are looks like it's the same thing okay so free plan has been sent to your inbox um, okay yeah so this is if we're taking people directly to this page after um, after our landing page which is something you could do but remember we want to add the tracking pixels to the thank you page right which is why we have a separate thank you page so we're gonna go ahead and use this option right here and if we go here let's just confirm yeah that's perfect. okay so that's what we want so that's this page right here um, okay so let's change this front message first let's say thank you 
right? Um, we have sent you the free plans to your email. If you still have, and we'll reduce the side of that. If you still haven't received, you still haven't received them, check your spam folder and check your spam and other folders. If you still haven't received them, email me at Yvonne at YvonneMana.com and that's it, okay? And then let's make all this a little smaller. It's just too big. Uh, maybe 28. And then there's too much. Uh, we can probably remove that, yeah. Okay. So that doesn't look bad. Maybe we want to increase the size of that. 48 or so, okay. So that, I mean, that's pretty basic. That's pretty much all you need. Um, and then we can say, in the meantime, you can also download the plans by clicking the button below. Okay, and then we're just gonna we're just gonna give them this other option. So we have their email, okay? That's the main thing. We got their email, and now we're telling them, hey, click the button and you'll get the free plans as well. And then we're gonna send them to this uh, to this page, okay? So let's go over here, let's make that, and let's change this button a bit. Now we wanna change the color right away. I don't like the color. Um, so we're gonna, it's not this right here, gradient. I don't think, so we're gonna click on uh, unlock. We have to unlock it so we can change it. Uh, I don't think we saved the color, nah, yeah. Okay, so let's just go in and see if we can find a similar color to this, something like that. And then this one was like a darker color or something, okay. Yeah, that, that doesn't look good at all. <laughs> so let's, um, we can use this color actually, this one's fine too. So let's just use Colorzilla. And that's the dark color. Okay, so if Colorzilla doesn't work because of the hover effect, what we could do is go into inspect. Let's go in here. And we're gonna copy this code here. Uh, let's see if that didn't quite work. So we're gonna click that. Okay, and then what we can do is just click on this option here and then this is the color code we're looking for. So we're gonna go ahead and copy that. Come back here and paste it in there. And that looks good, okay? So we're gonna select that. And that is the same color as everything else. We wanna be consistent. So let's go ahead and make this button a little bigger, maybe like that. We'll say, um, now we're not gonna say send me the plans because we already did. So we're gonna say download, uh, or let's say, can't say get instant access, yeah. So let's say download free woodworking plans now. And then we can, this is Arial again. We don't want an Arial, let's do open sans, open sans, regular. Is that 22, maybe 20? Okay, that looks okay, All right? Okay, and let's center this actually, it doesn't look, oh, this is centered, wow, okay. That wasn't centered, okay. So, that looks good as our thank you page, all right? So, uh, let's take our affiliate link, if you recall, it was this one. We're gonna go ahead and take that link, we're gonna come back here, we're gonna paste it here. And then we're gonna test all this out, guys, okay? So we're gonna test it, don't worry about that. Uh, for the URL, let's paste that here. Now we have to do a few things. One is we have to change our affiliate ID. So over here where it says XXX, we obviously don't want that. We'll say resolve fam. And then to the end of it, what we wanna do is we wanna say ampersand. Now the reason why we're using ampersand in the other videos, if you followed me, we've always been using question mark. The reason why we're using ampersand here is because they already have a question mark. They have a question mark right here. So if the URL already contains a question mark, you cannot use question mark. You have to use ampersand, okay? So that's why we're using ampersand. So just remember that for any link, it, it's not just ClickBank, it's any link. If there's already a question mark in the URL, you can't use a question mark again. You have to use ampersand. So we're doing that and we're gonna say TID equals square brackets CMC underscore BID. Now, this is for tracking, okay? If this blows your mind, you have no idea what this is, I encourage you to see my video where I teach you how to uh, promote click uh, or how to integrate click magic with click bank click magic is the tracking software we'll be using we will get into that we're gonna set everything up but this is what you have to do to track the sales okay this will allow you to track the sales so you know if you made conversions or not now this is especially useful if you're promoting products as outside of Clickbank because it just so happens that Google integrates with Clickbank somewhat it's not ideal there are issues uh, but some affiliate networks there is no integration with Google Ads 
which includes YouTube, which means that you will not be able to track the sales at all, okay? Unless you use a third-party tracking tool. So just type in ampersand TID equals square bracket CMC underscore VAD. Again, if this confuses you, check out my click magic video. Everything will be in the description. But that is it, okay? We are good here. I'm trying to think if we missed anything. I don't think so. Let's click save. Let's go back to overview. Let's publish this page. We're gonna make the landing page take people to this page, okay? So we're gonna publish and then we're gonna enter this URL and we should be good with this part, okay? We're gonna move on to the next step finally. So let's give it a second to save. Okay, perfect. Now let's quickly preview the page. Um, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, it looks good. And if we click here, we are taken to the page. Perfect. Okay, good. So let's copy link address. Um, let's go back to old pages here. And here's our top page, by the way, we didn't rename it. So let's go ahead and quickly add this to the group. Uh, YouTube ads. Okay, so it was already added there. That's perfect. So let's go back here. Now what we do want to do is we want to edit this. So let's click here. And we want to edit the name here first of all so let's say ted's woodworking youtube and let's say dash thank you page okay so let's do that okay that looks good um sorry let's go back to our youtube ads pages and we want to go to our landing page we want to enter the url right because we want to take people to the thank you page so we have to enter our thank you page url here so we're going to scroll down we'll click edit and over here um for the form we're going to over here confirmation we're going to click on go to url and for the url we're going to paste that url here okay so that's our thank you page so we want to send people to that thank you page okay we'll click save we will click publish and we should be good to go here okay so that that is it for our thank you page and landing page and now if you enter your details here you should be taken to the thank you page yvonne at yvonne.com a second and boom there you go okay so everything is set up let's click got it uh, okay so let's go back to our PowerPoint let's put a little plus here and perfect okay we're well on our way we got a few more things left the next two options are pretty fast uh, autoresponder is okay and YouTube ad should be pretty fast as well so let's set up conversion tracking really quickly so let's go back to our Microsoft Word now we will be using click magic to track our sales so what I'm gonna do is copy this link okay copy let's go back here and let's paste it and go. So Click Magic is a tracking software that allows you to track. Again, this is especially useful if you're not just using ClickBank, if you're using other uh, tools like Max Bounty or I mean affiliate networks like Max Bounty, there is no Google Ads Max Bounty integration. So you have to use a third party tracking tool to see if you made sales or not, because then you have no idea aside from going into Max Bounty. Um, but at that point, you, you don't know what converted, which keywords, which ad groups, which you know ad sets, um, interests, whatever. So. You're gonna head over here. I, if you use my affiliate link again, which I showed you, I give you a 14 day free trial. So feel free to check it out. Uh, Go.evonmana.com slash click dash magic. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and log in because I already have an account, let's log in. And the first thing you wanna do is head over to campaigns. And for you, it'll probably be a blank screen. It'll say step one, step two, step three. If that's what it says for you, uh, we're gonna go through all those steps, okay? So don't worry about it. So the first step that you have to do is add the code to the pages. So that, in that case, our landing page and thank you page. So I'm gonna go over here, click on website code, and we have to add this code, I'm gonna copy the clipboard, to our landing page right here. So I'm gonna select JavaScript here on the bottom left. I'm gonna paste the code right there, make it before body and tag, and let's name this, let's say CM, um, CM for click magic, let's say click tracking code. Okay, this is the basic code. You only have to put this on the landing page, nothing else. So we'll click save and we're gonna republish this. And then we're gonna go to our thank you page and add the action code there so that we can track how many people actually signed up. So here we're gonna select YouTube ads. We're gonna select thank you page here and we're gonna edit this page. And we are going to add our uh, conversion code here. So we're gonna select, not click tracking, we're gonna select action conversion code, right? We'll click copy to clipboard. Let's come back here, we're gonna click JavaScript. We're gonna add it here, once again, before body end tag, we'll say CM, and this is action uh, code. We'll just say action code, okay? And now when someone signs up, it will be registered as an action. So we'll go ahead and publish this, okay? And let me show you how you actually use this now. So let's go back into overview. So that, that's step one, we've added the code. Step two is now to create the URL, okay? So let's go into here, let's go back into our landing page. And let me just quickly show you what this will look like. So let's go here, we need this URL, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead and 
copy link address. Let's go back into Click Magic. I'm gonna paste the URL here. Now we are promoting on Google, okay? Because YouTube ads is from Google. So for the UTM source, we will say Google. Um, now this is what I'm doing. You can say whatever you want to, uh, but the first three fields are required. So whatever you wanna say, you enter them here. What these UTM parameters will do is they will allow you to track later on to see what works and what doesn't. Because like I said, that's extremely important, okay? So I'm gonna show you what this looks like here in a second. Now for the UTM medium, is this a search campaign, a display campaign, a Gmail campaign? Well, this is a YouTube campaign. So you can say either YouTube or video. It's a video campaign. Um, these are like, oh, this is what it's technically called. It's not called YouTube ads or, uh, you know, YouTube campaigns. This is Google ads and it's video, the, the campaign type is video type. So that's what it's like technically called. Uh, for the UTM campaign, so what's the name of our campaign? Well, it's Ted's, you know, we can say Ted's Woodworking. And then for these two options here, they are optional, but this is where I like to put things like keyword, for example. And I like to see, well, which keyword converted. And then for the UTM content, this is where we say what the ad is like. So maybe which specific YouTube video did we use? So um, we'll get to that, okay? So we'll leave it for now but let's say, you know, add one and we're going to change that up in a bit. Okay. So let's copy this URL. Let me show you what this is going to look like here. I'm going to go ahead, paste it and go. And this is our landing page. Okay. So let's go back into click magic. We'll go back to dashboard. Now, when you select Ted's woodwork live, you select the date, you'll see that you have one visitor here, which is great. Let's enter the first name. Let's just test this Yvonne at Yvonne.com. And we should be taken to the thank you page and now we refresh the page and now boom we see an action okay so you wouldn't have been able to do this if you sent people straight from landing page to the affiliate offer you can't track this because you can't add pixel to the affiliate sales page you can't do that unfortunately so this way at least you can see well which specific people converted so once you start sending more traffic you can go by source like hey google how is my google traffic doing how is my facebook traffic doing you can go by medium. How are my YouTube campaigns doing versus display campaigns versus search campaigns versus Gmail campaigns, right? You can sort it by here. Right now we only have YouTube. You can go by campaign. How's my, right? Once you add 10 more campaigns, you'll see how's my Ted's Woodwork campaign doing? How's my custom keto diet campaign doing, right? By keyword. Now, instead of keyword, it'll actually say the keyword, which converted and content. You'll have the exact ad. And so that's the idea, guys. That's how you set up tracking. Uh, that, that was step two. Step three now is to actually take this and promote it anywhere on Google, Facebook, Microsoft. Again, I have courses for that. And in this video, we're going to show you, I'll show you how to do it on YouTube ads. So let's close out of this. And in fact, let's, let's clean, clean this up a little bit. Let's close these two. We don't need that. Um, let's close the sales page. We don't need the affiliate page anymore. I don't believe. Okay. Let's just tidy this up a little bit and let's head back over here. So that is conversion tracking. Okay. Everything should be tracking correctly. Everything, as you can see, is working smoothly, but we're not done yet. So now we have to find a video. We're going to set up an autoresponder and then we're going to use that video in our YouTube ad. Okay. So how do you find a video, right? Uh, there's nothing here yet. There's no URLs to click on, but there are three op options you have when it comes to making videos. The first option is the easiest. You select a ClickBank offer and some of them, now I'm not saying all of them do. I'm saying in some cases, sometimes some of them will have a video. So in this case, for Ted's Woodworking, if you go through their page here, they have review videos that you can use. So these are videos that we can actually use to make ads, okay? Now, you wanna be careful with this kind of option one because sometimes you're not allowed to use videos that they give you. So for easy battery reconditioning, for example, there is a note that says, hey, you're not allowed to do YouTube ads anymore or we only have one affiliate doing YouTube ads, so we don't allow any more, you're not allowed to use these videos, okay? So make sure you read what it says. Now, in this case, you are okay to use these videos on our YouTube ads. So we're just gonna do this as an example. We'll use one of these videos. So we're gonna, you know, we're gonna right click and we're gonna click uh, save link as, and we're gonna save this as a video, okay? So we're gonna, you know, it's called Barry Review, and then we're gonna upload it to our YouTube channel. So we'll do that shortly. But before that, I want to go through the two other options you have. So the other option you have of making videos is you can create the video yourself. So just like these guys here, they've made videos, right? They, they, they were hired. They're probably paid actors to make videos for review videos. You can do this yourself. Uh, now there's a few different types of videos you can do. You can do a video where you look at the screen and you share your experience like they have here. There is another type of video where you can showcase the product. So you can actually buy the Ted's Woodworking Guide and you can show them, hey guys, you know, here's the Ted's Woodworking Guide. Here it is in, in front of me. Here's what you're going to get. Let's flip through the pages. Oh, you know, here's how to do this, etc. 
Another type of video you can do is you can actually go in there and instead of showcasing the product, which is Ted Wood, the, the guy, the plant, you can actually create the actual thing. So you could maybe, I don't know, take a picture of, of some woodworking project and show them, hey, you know, I was able to do this thanks to this guide. Let's take a look at this. Or like Ty Lopez right here in my garage, you could be like, hey, here in my amazing new wooden little house that I created. How did I create it? Well, boom, I used my 50 free woodworking plants. Now, obviously this approach is if you're not very shy to be in front of the camera, um, but there are ways to get around it, right? Like you don't have to film yourself. Like I said, you can showcase the product, you can showcase the results. You don't have to always show yourself if you guys are shy, but this was the second way to do it. You shooting the video yourself. The third option you can do is paying someone to do it. So you can pay, you know, your friends or whoever you want to create some sort of video. What you could also do is head over to Fiverr. So this is my favorite place, fiverr.com, and you can pay these guys to do videos. So if you go here and you type in video ad into Fiverr, you can get some people creating videos for you. Now, some of them are really expensive guys. Some of them, not so much. Like this 40 bucks is probably the least expensive of the other options. You have all these different options here, right? This one's 28 bucks. I will create a viral Shopify and Facebook dropshipping ad. Uh, it's got a lot of reviews, so people think that this price is worth it, right? But you also want to be careful because if it's not that expensive and it has high reviews, then, uh, well, it could mean that the product is really cheap. So for someone that's willing to part with 28 bucks, well, what kind of video could you get for 28 bucks if there are choices to make like professional videos for a thousand, right? So things like that, you want to go through this. Now you can contact these guys and you can look at their work. So for example, this one, you're wondering, okay, well, what type of work do, does this person do? You can go in here and you can look at some of their videos. Uh, so I'm already a member. I'm going to disregard that. You can look through their videos and kind of see if you like them, right? Like these are fine videos for you guys to get started. You don't need something crazy professional. You know, this person looks good and you can take a look and see kind of what they do. See their good, uh, guidelines. Um, the other thing is over here, it says that this is Shopify Facebook. Okay. So it should be the same format really pretty much for YouTube ads. I mean, this will work the same for YouTube ads as for anything else, but what you can do to confirm is kind of just message them. So you can contact the seller, log in, create account, contact seller, and just ask them, Hey, I'm trying to do a good YouTube ad. Do you have suggestions? Can you make this a good YouTube ad for me? Um, and mo most likely the answer will be yes. It's pretty much the same thing. But if you want to talk to them, you can always contact them. And now let's go back. So that's what you would do. You can contact them. You can look at their work, right? Again, all of them have their work. Like this guy has got a five-star review for 700 bucks. Okay. So that's a lot, but you can look at their work and see what you like. Um, now the other thing you can do is if you have a little bit more money, you can just click on this option here called pro services. And these are going to be really expensive. Like there's some for like 7,000 bucks, which is absolutely insane guys. Um, this one's 10,000 bucks, right? Well, this is five social media videos. That's insane. Yeah, this one's 7,000, but these are pro services. So 1% of the Fiverr sellers in any specific field, they get verified as pro. And this is just Fiverr verifying them. I don't know what their guidelines are, how they do it, but it's basically the top of the top. So the best, the ones that offer the most professional services. So if you click this option here and you will see all these options, they are really expensive guys, but they are apparently the most professional. So if you really want to go hard at it, you know, you would select pro. If not, if you want to get started, just type in video ad and select anything. Um, I would suggest you go through this and just look through these options guys. Cause I mean, you know, this is an important video ad. You want to make sure you like their work. You like the type of style they do it with. So, you would go through all that, make sure it looks good and you should be good to go. Okay. And that's how you, these are all the options you have in creating a video. This is going to be your ad. This is going to be what's going to attract attention. Okay. So again, in our case, for simplicity's sake, we're going to create this basic video. This one, um, this one doesn't work by the way. So if you use this video, I tried uploading it to my YouTube. It said video deleted cause it goes against our terms or something, but, um, you can just use if the product has a video you can use it and in this case we downloaded it here okay so now that we selected a video let's head over to our fancy youtube channel let's click on create let's click on upload videos and i'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop this here your video has to be unlisted or active or public in order for this to be eligible okay so we're gonna name this let's say uh ted's woodworking we'll say for example barry's review and then what we can say here is uh you know barry talks about so this will be seen when someone actually clicks your video. This is what the description is going to say. So we definitely want to provide some information and also um, have a link to our website, right? So Barry talks about Ted's woodworking 
and his personal experience with them. Um, you can you can download your own free woodworking plans by going to our website here and then we can uh, so I'm gonna click on the little window sign sorry I'm gonna click on the little window sign period and it's gonna pull up this little window and we're just gonna click on this option right there and we can enter our URL right so let's go back here uh, now for this one we probably want to use this URL so we're gonna go in here uh, go into URL builder and we can go into URL manager uh, so we can copy this URL. Now this URL looks a bit, you know, a bit ugly. You can use Bitly or something. Or what you can do is if you, uh, you can use tracking links. Okay, so you can just take this link, for example, you can copy it. You can go into links and then you can create a tracking link. So you can create a new link and it just makes it look nicer. Uh, again, I have videos on all of this. Okay, so you can say this is, uh, let's say Ted's Woodworking YT for YouTube. And we'll say Ted's and we'll click create. Uh, cannot include oops okay so we can't include that little uh, um, quotation mark what do you call it okay and now you can use this link and this looks a bit better so we can copy that we can come back in here and we can I'm just gonna paste it here okay and that looks nicer but you will still get all the data and yeah you might want to change the layout here like over here under campaigns you go back into URL builder Maybe you'd want to change this because now there's probably not going to be a keyword, right? So maybe you'd want to say instead of keyword, you want to say that this is for, um, you know, this is like in the YouTube description, right? So you'd, you'd want to make that clear. So let's go into our uh, URL manager. Let's copy this again. Let's go back into links. Let's just quickly actually change that. And instead of keyword, because there's not going to be a keyword here anymore, we'll just say desk for example okay to make it clear that this is in the YouTube description this is where we're getting clicks from so um, that is good okay you can upload the thumbnail here okay so for discovery ads which are ads which are gonna show up on YouTube search results or on YouTube recommendations when you're watching a video you can upload a thumbnail to make it more to make it look better um, you know in our case we can leave it as is, so we're just gonna stick with this thumbnail but maybe you want to add little text you want to say like hey Ted's woodworking review or uh, Ted's woodworking free plans right maybe you want to use this image this is a good image actually and then you just want to say like hey free plans right so maybe something like that we don't have a playlist this is not made for kids so not made for kids doesn't mean that oh you're swearing a lot that's not what it means it means that your video isn't made specifically for kids like you're not making Mickey Mouse cartoons and saying hey little kids you want to watch Mickey Mouse okay you're not doing that so you just say no here uh, you can add tags here this isn't super important just because our video is not going to be found where or I mean unless you want to go the SEO route we're making ads right so this isn't incredibly important but we could say like Ted's woodworking for example uh, Ted's would work okay so things like that and that looks good let's click next uh, leave everything here as is click next okay so it has to be unlisted or public if you don't want everyone on YouTube to see your video without it being an ad click on unlisted okay that means anyone with the URL can see your ad we'll click save and we have to wait for it to load a little bit okay so we're good to go here we'll click close uh, this URL is good to go we are ready to promote on Google so now we are ready to go in and do the pre last step uh, let's put a little check mark here. We're good with a video. We're ready to promote it. So now we just have to set up an autoresponder. We want to be sending emails. Now that we got somebody's email, we want to be sending them those emails, right? So let's go over here. We're going to select this URL here, which is get response. Again, uh, get response is an autoresponder software that allows you to send out emails to people. I've been using them for the past four years. Again, I wouldn't suggest them if I wouldn't use them or strongly suggest them myself. Um, I give you a 30-day free trial if you use this affiliate link, go.evonmana.com slash getresponse. Um, but this is what we'll be using, okay? To send our emails, to manage our lists, to set up uh, automation workflows if we have to. But we're just going to create a basic autoresponder message here. And that should be it for what we're trying to accomplish in this video. So I already have an account. I'm going to go ahead and click log in. And I will see you on the very first screen you'll see when you sign up. A few moments later. All right. And welcome to Get Response. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is click on lists. And we want to create our list. OK. So these are all the lists we've created before. Okinawa Belly, our previous video, uh, blood pressure, all that fun stuff. So we're going to create a list. And let's name this Ted's Woodwork. Now, if I click create and it says not available, let's see that means it already exists. Somebody who is using get response is already using this list name. So we can't use it quite unfortunate. I know 
Uh, you can use only lowercase letters and dashes, okay, and numbers. So we'll click dash again and let's say YT for YouTube. Now you want to be careful with this name. People do see the name when they unsubscribe. They're going to see, hey, do you want to unsubscribe from this list? And it's going to say, you know, Ted's Woodwork YT. So you want to be careful. Don't do anything explicit or anything crazy. People will see this once they unsubscribe. So we're going to head over. And actually, I believe when they subscribe as well, I would have to double check. If you have like a double opt-in, uh, you might see this option as well. So just be careful is what I'm saying. So uh, we've done that. Let's click on show autoresponders. And what we want to do now is create our autoresponders. Now you can toggle the view. You can choose, you know, this view or this view right here, whatever is easier. We're going to select this view and we'll click on create autoresponder. Now we're just going to create a basic message giving people what we promised them, which is the 40 free plans, right? So autoresponder name, this is for your reference. So we'll say, you know, Ted's woodworking. We'll say day zero. This is just for our reference. Nobody sees this. We're going to say on day zero, which means immediately after they sign up, we want to send them the email. Okay. Um, we're going to select our offer here, which is Ted's Woodwork YT. We'll say immediately, we're going to create a new email and we're going to create it from scratch. So uh, the first thing here you'll have to do is add your email. So in your general uh, get response settings, I'm sorry if I didn't do that uh, at first, just click here on get response and um, on the top right, click on settings. And then on the left side, you'll see emails, click on that and add your email. Okay. And you'll see this option here, right there. And you just have to verify the email and you will be able to add it. That is it. That's all you have to do. Next, we're going to enter the subject. Now, this is the subject that people see, and this is just for your reference. So for the subject, we're going to say, you know, here are your free woodworking plans. Okay. And we could say, we could say, fr uh, not friend, first name. Okay. And this I'm using dynamic kind of tokens. This will be replaced with the actual first name of the people. So as you know, we ask, for the people to enter their first name and email, right? You don't have to do first name, but if you do, this is what you can you can add, you know, first name, and uh, it's gonna be replaced with their actual first name. So Billy, here are your free woodworking plans, okay? And then we can add a little face here. Let's see if there's something to do with wood here. Uh, okay, maybe a little tree. Yeah, I, I, I don't know if that fits. Uh, let's see if maybe plans. No, not plain, not cucumber. Okay, so we can just maybe add a little smiley face, okay? And then we can go ahead and copy this and paste it here. And this is just for our reference. Nobody's gonna see that, okay? But this one people do see. So let's click on next step. And we're gonna create a blank email template. We'll click start from scratch. We'll click on blank template. And we're just gonna fill something in. Now, Ted gives you, uh, they give you an email sequence. I'm not a big fan of these guys. It's mostly focused on sell, sell, sell. I prefer more the value giving approach of giving value to people and then asking them to buy on the third or fourth email. Um, so even if you do download these mega autoresponder templates, you, you have to change them pretty much quite a bit because you have to really make them unique, make them personalizable. Okay. So we're going to click on text here. We're going to drag that. Let's delete this part here at the top. We want to select everything here. We want to make it 16. Okay. That's kind of the default size, easy to see, but not too big. So let's start from the top. Let's say, Hey, you know, we'll say first name. Now, if someone somehow doesn't enter their first name, this will be replaced with friend. So it's going to say, Hey friend, like the word friend. Okay. So we'll say here are the free, uh, let's say here are the 40 free plans you requested. Okay. And we are going to have a little arrow where it say click here to get instant access to your plans. Okay. And now what we can do is let's go back to our thank you page. Um, Let's go back to YouTube ads. We're going to take the URL, right? Cause we had our affiliate link right here. It's just easier to just grab the completed link. So we're going to edit this page. We're going to take this URL and we're going to paste it in here. So this right here, we're going to go ahead and grab that. We're going to go in here. We're going to select this option here. We're going to click there and we are going to add it here. And that looks good. Okay. And so now people will be redirected to this page if they click here. Okay. They'll be redirected to that, that page and they can download it. Right. If you recall, here's what the page looked like right here. Right. And they can download. Okay. And that's it. And then they will also have the option to click here and then buy. Okay. And then if they click here, you will be able to actually get credit for the sale. Okay. And we're going to go through the whole process from start to finish. I'll show you how to check that your affiliate ID is intact. So you're going to get sales. Okay. I'll show you how to check that. Let's finish this first and then we're going to test it and then we're going to promote it on YouTube ads. So click here to get instant access to your plans. Um, 
you know, this is a collection of 40 and what, what did they say here, by the way, a 40, um, let's say a 40, it's a collection of, this is a collection of 40 pages of jam packed and no, and no fluff. This is a collection of 40 pages of jam packed and no fluff plans that will get you started, um, let's say, that will allow you to create some awesome and unique, uh, you know, woodworking projects or something. I don't know much about this to be able to kind of really say it, uh, but you'd want to read this. These 444 pages will, you know, I mean, what can we say about this? Um, 40 pages of jam packed no fluff plans allow to create awesome and unique woodworking pages. Okay. So these are, oops, keeps deselecting. These are 404 pages of detailed step by step tutorials that will keep you busy for a long time. Okay. And that looks good. So what else can we say? Um, keep you busy for a long time. So what else can we add about this? Um, let's say in the next few emails, I'll be sending you more, you know, free plans. And this is what they have, right? So if you go to their affiliate page, they do give you other free pages with more plans. Okay. So after these plans they have here, uh, here they have a traditional bookcase plan, a, another bookcase plan. Was this the same thing? Yeah. Okay. So that's the same thing. And then they have like these 13 wood joinery plans, these uh, two in one folding picnic. Okay. So you can send them these. So in the next video, I want to send you a, uh, you know, two in one folding picnic table plan. Okay. So we can say that. So in the next, we can say in the next email. Uh, okay. Well, let's say in the next few emails, I'll be sending you more free plans. So make sure to whitelist Yvonne at yvonnemana.com so that you receive them. For example, I wanted to share my, uh, what is this? My two in one folded picnic table bench plan. My two in one folding picnic, picnic table bench plan for a long time. And that's what I'll share with you for free in the next email. Two in one folding picnic bench plan, right? Picnic table, picnic table bench plan. Okay. Let's so make sure I got that. Um, you want to ideally make like one line worth of text, not jam too much into a single paragraph. So let's see if we can maybe plans dot, dot, dot. And then we want to do that. We want to do the same thing here. Um, dot, 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 you know, add the space here, for example, two on a picking table match for a long time, dot, dot, dot. And that's what I'll share with you in the next email. Okay. So we got that until then stay safe and and reply to this email if you have any questions we'll say Yvonne Mana okay and then we can say PS okay and we can take them to the actual sales page here straight to the sales page not download the plan or assuming they did we can say PS if you want a collection of 16,000 you know woodworking plans. So this is a subtle reminder, right? We're not telling them, Hey, click here to buy your 16,000 plants. They don't trust us yet. They don't know us yet. So we're just being subtle about it. We're saying, yeah, yeah, here's everything we promised you. Oh, and by the way, right. If you were by chance looking for something else, like 16,000 plants, here they are. So we're going to say, if you want a collection of 16,000 wood plants, you can get them all, let's say by clicking here. Okay. And then what we can do is um where is our affiliate page yeah over here so we can send them you know so here's this is the main affiliate link so we can go ahead and copy that we can paste that. i did i did control v to quickly paste and this is our page okay and we can send them here so in this email you can get them all by clicking here okay so we're going to select that we're going to click here and we're going to paste that here now again affiliate id we want to change that result them. Now we don't have to add the TID uh, equals CMC underscore VAD here. This is more cross device tracking. So if you want to track cross device email sales, 
uh, you guys should check out the click magic documentation i'm not going to go through that in this video or this will be like a you know five hour long video with everything like all these side projects that we could have gone into um, check out the click magic documentation type in cross device and check their videos there they have videos that guide you through the process of cross device tracking that's what you'll have to do here if you want to do that for now just adding this is fine you will get credit for the sale okay so we'll click okay and maybe just maybe we will bold this then what i like to do is select that and make this yellowish that not yellow this is yellow okay make it yellow make it stand out a little bit um that's a bit much maybe a little bit less of a yellow maybe like a lighter yellow like that okay that looks good and then this is pretty good okay so uh maybe we want to bold some things 444 uh, or 40 pages uh make sure to whitelist double dots here and we can just add some bold and some you know italics here throughout uh so i wanted to share my two-in-one picnic folding table maybe underline that maybe bold it okay maybe remove that underline there um just add a little bit of you know make it more interesting these are 444 pages of detailed step-by-step -step tutorials maybe you want to underline and i tell that okay so something like this and that's our first email okay so let's click next step let's see what it looks like um we'll quickly integrate it with unbalancer i'll show you the process for it i do have a separate video for that which i'll direct you to again in the message below or in the description below but let me just show you what it looks like so to actually check this email we're going to click the dots here we'll click preview and this is what our email is going to look like right it says hey friend because there's no first name yet this is a test there is no first name and if we click here we're taken to this page where they download the plans and if they want the full 16,000 plans they're taken to this page okay so perfect everything is good and uh, so we're doing here a few things we're kind of telling what this is and why they should take a look kind of a repeat of the information you can add new stuff here if you want instead of saying 40 pages tell them what it's going to cover um, maybe you want to tell them you know those things here maybe you want to tell them these and say hey this is going to cover this 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 right you can do that totally um, i'm also asking them to whitelist the email because it looks good on our deliverability it looks good for us and get response if people receive more emails and we want to make sure they open them right we want to make sure our open rates are as high as possible that's how you get higher click through rate is if people open your emails in the first place we are giving them something to look forward to so we're telling them that we'll be sending them more free plans so we're giving them something more to look forward to the idea here is you find people that are interested in woodworking okay so the main thing here is targeting whether it's keywords if you're doing google search or if you're doing youtube ads it's going to be topics and placements and all that the idea here is always targeting so if you're sending this email to the right person that is interested in woodworking they will be very interested they will convert okay this is going to work for people that are into woodworking the only issues you might have are if your audiences are off okay or your landing page is off but mainly the audience so we'll be looking at that and some options when we go into YouTube ads, but this is basically the whole process. Okay, so if that looks good. We can add more emails here. Let's close out of that. We can add more emails by clicking create autoresponder, or if you prefer this view, you could just click the little plus sign here or just really anywhere here, and you're gonna create another autoresponder. So for this one, you can tell them, hey, here is your, uh, here's your picnic table that I promised you, right? Oops, and we close out of that, unfortunately. I'm sorry about that. Let's go back to autoresponders. You know here's your picnic table that you asked for and then you keep on sending them more information you know you build trust and then on email three or four is when you explicitly say hey guys check out this offer it's 77 percent off now it's quarantine offer it's 16 000 woodworking plants check it out buy it now okay and that's the idea but this is our autoresponder sequence so let's go back and let's quickly integrate this with i think i can close that uh, i'm gonna close out of fiverr so we can quickly integrate this with unbounce or at least i'll show you the process for it and we're going to test this and then we're going to promote it on YouTube and that is it. Okay. You're done with the whole thing. So we have to go back to our landing page because that's where the email is. Uh, so we're going to go here. You're going to click on leads. Okay. And, uh, oops, sorry. No, you're going to click on integrations and there is no native integration here. I don't know why they didn't integrate like by default. So you have to use Zapier. Okay. So you're going to click on powered by Zapier. You're going to create the Zapier account guys. It's very easy. Once you do, don't make it sound uh, you know, don't make me make, don't allow me to make it sound more complicated than it is. Uh, create a Zapier account. So just sign up if you don't have it, have one. Uh, you're going to select get response from here. So you're going to type in get response. Now I already show you how exactly to do this in my other video. So check that out. Um, basically all you have to do is follow the steps. It's very simple. You're going to select get response. You're going to enter the API key here 
to integrate them. And that is pretty much it. So to get your API key, you'll click it onto autoresponders, integrations, and API. Click on API. You'll get the API key and you're going to paste it here. Okay. So you're going to, yeah, you gotta, you gotta sign up for Zapier first and you're going to enter the key and that is it. Okay. So just fill in the blanks. Again, I have a video devoted for this guys. I'll put it in the description. Take a look at the video, uh, integrate the two together and you should be set. Okay. And that's pretty much it. So let's go ahead and let's quickly test this. Let's make sure everything is working and let's make sure that we're getting credit for our affiliate sales. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's go back into click magic links. Let's go back into campaigns because we have the link saved here, right? So we're going to go here. We'll click on URL builder. Uh, let's click here URL manager, which saves our URLs. And let's suppose this is the one we'll be using, right? So let's click here. We're going to go open new tab. Let's paste it and go. And okay, this is our page. That's good. We already saw that in click magic, it works like it tracks the action and the landing page view. So I'm going to skip that. Uh, what we want to do here is we want to make sure that it all follows through smoothly and, and we're being taken to the right page. Okay. And most importantly of all, we're getting credit for the affiliate sale. So we'll click save uh, or send me the free plans. Okay. looks good. Now we'll click next. And one thing you, you want to do is when you go to, or you want to make sure that you download this extension called the redirect path. If you want to test and make sure these things are working, if you followed everything in this video, it should. But if you're working on many campaigns and many different affiliate networks, you might want to make sure that everything is working. So download this extension. You want to make sure that this TID value, remember how we said TID equals CMC underscore VAD? You want to make sure that there's a value here. And this value right here, this CMC37, is what will allow us to track sales in Click Magic. So we can see how many people converted. We will see all that in Click Magic, okay? So uh, that is good. So let's just go on, you know, let, let's imagine we want to buy this and let's test this and make sure that we'll actually get credit for the sale if someone buys. So we'll click add to cart. And now what you want to do is you want to scroll through to the bottom and make sure that it has your affiliate ID right there. So see how it says affiliate equals resolve fam. And then this is the, uh, the, the code there, the, the CMC, that's what will allow us to track sales in click magic. Okay. So you can leave that as is, but this resolve fam, you want to make sure your username is there. If it says affiliate equals none, something is wrong. Double check your links. Make sure everything is working correctly. You've set everything up. You didn't miss a single step. If it doesn't say resolve fam, it doesn't work. Okay. Now what you also want to do or what you could do is let's close out of that. Did we close out of that? Yeah. What you could also do is let's, let's copy this and let's open in a new like incognito window. Okay. So we're going to go any browser. Uh, use it in any incognito window uh, so that there's no saved cookies. Okay. Cause that's what you want to do. So we're going to do the same thing here. Let's enter something. And again, we want to make sure that uh, the affiliate cookies saved. Okay. So I'm opening an incognito window. So our saved cookies don't interfere with the testing. Okay. And here we'll go here again. And you see here, I'm using a different extension called link redirect trace for Firefox. We see here that the TID values there as well. So let's go in and let's click here to buy, right? Let's assume someone's on a completely different computer, different browser. As you can see, the page even looks a bit different, right? Cause we're, we don't have any saved cookies. So we want to go here. Um, we want to click on order now, cause that's what's going to take us to this page. Scroll down. And again, here, see how it says resolve fam. So always double check guys. Uh, I have had some of you guys message me saying, Oh, you know, yes, I'm getting credit for a sale. I've tested it. That's because you tested it on the same browser test it in a different browser in cognitive mode, double check that your affiliate ID is there guys. Very important. You don't want to miss sales. Okay. Very, very important. Okay. So now that we've done that guys, congratulations. We're pretty much done. Last thing we have to do is create our YouTube ad. Okay. So the moment we have all been waiting for, let's do it. Let's go into our uh, account here. We can probably log out of get response. Let's make a little bit more space here. I don't think we need this anymore. Do we, we might, uh, no, we don't cause that's not our landing page. So it doesn't matter. So we're going to head over into Google ads and we are going to create a new campaign. Okay. So click on the little option here. In my case, it's kind of in the middle left, uh, for you, it might be somewhere in the middle if you're completely new. So just click on that, click campaign and click on create campaign. And we're going to create this YouTube campaign. So the first thing you want to do guys, this is important is select, create a campaign without a goals guidance. If you select any other option, you're going to be limited and YouTube is not going to give you all the options that are available for creating YouTube ads. They might turn off uh, a certain campaign type or, or, or a certain video type, uh, turn on another one and so on. So if you click on create without goals guidance, 
you'll get all the options, okay? So you wanna select this option right here. Next, you wanna select video. Obviously, we're doing a video campaign. Now, you wanna stick with this option because this is what gives you the most options, the most customization. Now, the only other most important options here are gonna be non-skippable in-stream ads and outstream. Now, remember these two. I will cover what they are as we get to the ads, but for the time being, majority of you are probably gonna go with the skippable in-stream ads. That's like the, the most popular probably ad format where there's an ad that runs and then you have five seconds to skip it, right? So that's probably the most popular one. So we're gonna go with custom video campaign. Remember these two. If you do end up wanting to do these two, you cannot choose them from here by selecting custom. You cannot do that. You have to select these options. Again, I'll cover exactly what they are once we get to that stage, but just keep that in mind. Remember this for when we get there, okay? So we're gonna select that. Okay, remember, uh, no, no goal guidance video and the first option here, we'll click on continue. Let's close out of that option there. And let's just go from top to bottom. And the first option here it's asking for is the campaign name. So we'll say, you know, we'll say Ted's Woodworking. That's the campaign name. Bidding strategy. So you can either pay per view. Per view means if someone watched at least 30 seconds of your video or if it's less than that, whatever the duration of the video is. Or target CPM, which means for every thousand impressions. So if somebody didn't necessarily view 30 seconds of your video, but for example, they watched a second or two of your video and they clicked off, that counts as an impression. Or if you're doing discovery ads, if someone sees your ad on the side somewhere, like, you know, with a thumbnail and it says ad, that's gonna count, be counted as an impression. So you'll be paying for every thousand times somebody has seen your ad, not necessarily that they clicked on it or viewed it, anything like that, okay? So I like to go with CPV because that basically means, well, hey, you're paying per view, right? You wanna pay for people that actually watch your video, not just see that it's there, not click on it. So you're gonna select CPV, you'll set the actual number as we scroll down, don't worry about that. You can set the budget, so you can set the campaign total, so how much you wanna pay for the entire duration of the campaign or daily. I'm gonna go with daily. You guys are always asking how much should you put down, so there is no right answer, guys, but the more you spend, the faster you get the data. If you spend $1 a day, it'll probably be a long time before you gather data, if you even get any clicks. So I would go with, I mean, if you're just starting out, $10, $20 a day, Again, there's no right answer. I don't know your situation, guys. I don't know where you are. One thing I would advise you to do though, is if you're just starting out, make sure you have some money because this will take, this will cost some money to experiment and test, okay? Uh, don't go in here thinking you invest five bucks, you'll make 20 right away. No, there's gonna be lots of testing. There's lots of trial and error. Even though I'm teaching you all this stuff, you will have to do this on your own and figure out which groups work. I can't tell you, hey, this keyword's gonna work, this group's gonna work and just do that, you'll make money. No, there's no such thing. It's all about testing, testing, testing. So make sure you guys have money to invest. So put whatever you're comfortable in here. Let's say, let's say 20 for me, okay? Uh, let's say 20, again, whatever number. And now you'll be spending maximum of $20 per day. Now, just to be a little clear on this point, based on my previous comment, it's not maximum $20 per day. It's maximum you'll be spending 600 bucks per month. So Google will not spend more than 150% of your daily budget per day. So that means they're not gonna spend more than uh, $30 in this case, because that's 150. They're not gonna spend more than $30 per day, but they're gonna make sure that I'm not gonna spend more than 600 bucks per month, okay? So that's the idea here. So just because you put 20 bucks here doesn't mean, okay, you're safe, you're spending max of 20 bucks. So knowing that, maybe you wanna go a little bit lower, right? If you're tight on budget, if you're not comfortable spending 30 bucks a day, maybe you wanna go with 10, okay? So just thought I'd let you guys know that. Um, networks, you can choose the networks here. You know, this is videos on the display network. So this isn't necessarily YouTube. This is gonna be on their, you know, on their friendly sites. So we're gonna deselect that. Let's suppose we want our ads only to show up on YouTube, no kind of display sites. And you can leave this on if you want. This is if you'll be doing discovery ads, right? Which are basically like search ads, but with videos. Um, it's gonna have the thumbnail and it's gonna say, you know, here's what the video is about. And it's gonna say ad. So search results are if someone types something in search, you'll notice it's one of those videos that show up at the very top of the search results. And it says ad, because it's an ad, okay? So if you wanna do discovery ads like that, you can keep that here. If you wanna do ads that only show up in the actual YouTube videos, you would deselect it, okay? So whatever floats your boat, whatever you wanna do. Let's suppose we wanna deselect it. The next thing we have to do is enter our location. So I'm gonna enter Canada and let's enter um, the top tier one country. So we'll enter Canada, we'll say United States. These countries convert the best usually. Uh, let's enter Australia, let's enter New Zealand and 
United Kingdom, okay? And these are the top five tier one countries, which generally, like I said, convert the best. So you wanna start with them. They're the highest quality traffic. Um, languages, you can s uh, stick with all languages. This means people that your, uh, your ads are gonna be shown to people with the Google interface set to this language. So if we set English, our ads are gonna show to people with the English interface. So we probably wanna select this, because if our ads are gonna be in English, we wanna show people to, we wanna show our ads to people who we know speak English. So we're gonna set English here. The next option here is the inventory type. Uh, this is just shows like who do you want or what channels do you want to show your video on? Like if you say expanded inventory, channels that have, uh, you know, here, excessive profanity, they swear a lot, they have graphic sexual content and nudity, your ads can still show on these channels. If you select limited inventory, if there is even a little bit of swearing, your ads will not show up on that channel, right? So what do you wanna do here? This is up to you, depending on your product. I'm gonna stick with standard inventory, um, but you can also go with expanded. And if you, you know, if you're promoting maybe like kid products, maybe you wanna stick with limited inventory. So things like that. Next, we're gonna go to this option here. Um, this is where you wanna exclude the type. So we wanna deselect this, because if content has not yet been labeled, if it's a new video, it's not, necessarily been labeled yet so we still want to show our ads there we do want to select this option though so generally if someone live streams they want to focus on the live stream because it's live it's happening right now people know that they can't go somewhere else and then come back because hey what if the live stream goes away because it's only now so you don't want to show your ads on live stream videos now this is my opinion my experience you can do whatever you want to embedded youtube videos you can leave this so embedded youtube videos are videos that play on people's websites like on my website you go to ivanmana.com if you go to some of my articles you will see me embedding YouTube videos. So on those videos on my website, do you wanna show ads? That's up to you how you wanna do it. I'm just gonna leave it as on right now. That's fine with me. We can click on additional settings, all these options. We can leave them as our conversions, account level. There's nothing really important here except frequency capping. So this is pretty important. So frequency capping is how many times do you wanna show your ad to someone before you stop showing the ad to someone? So you can go by cap impression or cap view. So how many times somebody has seen your ad, like actually watched the ad, or how many times someone has seen your ad and not necessarily seen the full 30 seconds. So I'm gonna go with cap impression frequency, and I'm gonna type a one here, which means if somebody has already seen my ad, not necessarily the full 30 seconds, but if they have seen my ad at least once in that day, I'm not gonna show them any more ads, okay? So it literally tells you what to do here. It says how, limit how many times, or not what to do, but what this is. Limit how many times the ads in this campaign can show to the same user, one time per day, okay? So again, I'm gonna type one here. So if someone has seen my ad, they didn't convert or they did convert, I don't wanna show them the same ad in that same day, okay? That's what this is. You can set your numbers here, right? There's no right answer. Uh, that's what I found works for me and for a lot of other people. So you could just stick with one, but you can do whatever you want. If you say cap view frequency, this is how many people actually saw your video. So how many people watch the full 30 seconds? If someone watched it, do you wanna show them the ad again or not, okay? That's what this is. Ad schedule, we can leave it at on day, and devices, we can leave it at all devices as well, mobile, desktop. Even though we didn't mobile optimize our website, I do have a video showing you how to do that. If you check out my Unbounce playlist, uh, you know, this, this is still okay for now. Okay, so now we're getting to the targeting. This is where you guys have to test and experiment. I can't tell you, hey, do this placement, do this topic, you'll convert. No, I can't tell you that. It's all about testing. There is no right answer. Professional marketers that are making billions of dollars online, they're all always testing. They don't come in there selecting, you know, one topic and boom. That's how they're making money. They're always testing. A lot of things don't work. A lot of things do. So guys, it's important up to you for you to test this. So uh, for the ad group name, we can name this a bit later after we actually select our targeting. We're going to leave that blank for now. But basically, you have two options here. You can target specific people, like you can target demographics based on certain age, or you can target audiences. So you can select, hey, I want to target people that are, for example, affinity, that are interested in banking and finance. And then regardless of what site those people go to or what YouTube channel they go to, you will show your ads to these people that Google deems is interested in these things, right? That's affinity. You have in market. In market means they're in the market to buy something. So Google has determined that, hey, these people are actively shopping for new cars right now. They haven't been shopping for the past 10 years. They're shopping right now for new cars or however many years. Uh, do you want to target those people? So people that are actively searching for babies and children's products, for example, okay? Or you have life events. People that, uh, let's close out of that. 
people that have recently got married, recently gotten a new job change, gotten a home renovation. You can target these people. So lots of options uh, for you to test. You can also target remarketing audiences. We didn't create remarketing audiences here. I have a full course, guys, that teaches you step-by-step -step in detail Google Ads and Facebook Ads remarketing. If you go to my course at ivanmana.com slash old courses, I go into very thorough detail. I show you how to do very engaged audiences, which you can't normally do just by using Google Ads using Google Tag Manager and Google Analytics, okay? So pretty advanced stuff. Check that out if you're interested in remarketing. We don't have it here, we're gonna skip it for now. So that's the basic gist of these audiences. You know, these are custom combinations that you can create yourself, like people that have a certain demographic and that are interested in this and are in the market for something. That's how you create the audiences. So uh, we don't want to do people targeting. I prefer to do content targeting. Content targeting means you're gonna put your ads on specific channels or specific websites, okay? And I prefer to do it that way. So if you go with keyword, you'll be putting here your ads on websites that are related to certain keywords. For example, if I put hockey here, we're gonna put our ads, right, on display, in this case, could be YouTube, on videos or websites that have hockey as the keyword, okay? Like the main theme of the website or YouTube channel or videos is hockey. So we can do that. We can also enter our product or service here. Like we can say hockey and we can get suggestions. Uh, I don't like to use keywords. Sometimes it's a good idea. You can test it. What I prefer is to go by placement, go by specific placement. We'll get into that. But this is how you would do keywords. Next you have topic. It's the same thing as keywords. Just instead of adding, you know, very detailed specific keywords, you just have basic general topics now. So for example, finance. And now you'll be showing your ads to, on channels or, uh, you know, uh, websites that are related to finance. So it's pretty, it's a bit broader than keywords. With keywords, you can get really specific like hockey lessons or hockey for beginners, right? Over here, there's no topic on hockey for beginners. Um, but that's what you wanna do. Like if you have a more general, a more broad topic, maybe you wanna go with topics or a more general product, I mean, okay? So that's topics, you know, play through this. These are all the different options you guys have. So we're gonna go ahead and just minimize that. And lastly, placement. So this is my favorite. You can set, you can choose the specific YouTube channels, videos, and websites. In this, in this case, websites won't necessarily apply if we're just promoting on YouTube. Uh, like on just YouTube videos, but you can select websites. Like for uh, outstream ads, you will be choosing the exact websites, guys, or exact website categories where you wanna show your ads to, so pretty cool. So website, uh, YouTube channels, like in this case, we're doing Ted's Woodworking, right? So maybe you wanna promote on Woodwork channels. So I'm gonna type in Woodworking, and here, look, Woodworking for Mere Mortals, King's Fine Woodworking. So you wanna look at these channels. Go to youtube.com, take a look at these channels and see what they're about, See if they are related to this topic and you can show your ads on these channels, guys. Really, really cool, okay? If you don't wanna go by specific YouTube channel, you can go by video. Maybe you liked a woodworking video. Let's click enter here again. Um, let's maybe say it would work. I had to give it a second to reload. And so now you can show your ads on these specific videos. Really cool, guys. If you saw a YouTube video and you're like, oh wow, like wouldn't it be great for me to put my product over here? like. I wish this video was mine so I could promote it. Boom, here's how you do it. You select that specific video, and if it allows monetization, you can put your ad here. Not every video is eligible, not every video is monetized, although the bigger videos, the bigger channels usually are, because that's how they make their money. Why not monetize it when they can make money? Uh, but that's what you would do, right? You would select specific YouTube videos, YouTube channels, really, really cool, okay? So in our case, let's suppose we wanna say, you know, how to build the dinner table, how to, you know, six woodworking tips, and we wanna show our ads to these people, uh, your targeting is too narrow because we're only targeting these. And actually, we, we should remove hockey. We don't want hockey. Right, so we should remove that. That should be better. Because right now we were targeting hockey-related content and these videos, which doesn't really make sense. Um, also, topics we want to remove finance. Okay, now that should give us a better indication because that doesn't make sense. We're talking about finance and woodworking, right? So that's why it kind of didn't make sense there. Um, so now this looks good. So our weekly estimates, we're gonna get 20,000 views on our ad per week, right? Which is pretty cool. So these are just basic ideas, guys. Like you can look through this. This is on you to do the research, to go to YouTube, find relevant videos, and you can add them here. Now what you could also do is you can actually enter the YouTube video URLs. So you can, uh, if you go to enter multiple placements, you can enter all the different URLs here. So go to YouTube, find the relevant videos, paste them all here, okay? So pretty cool. You can add them all and you can select specific videos. Um, you can go to websites. Again, we've already done this. It's the same idea as with YouTube, but for websites now. So 
what websites that are monetized, you can go in and select the websites. Again, in this case, it's mainly YouTube ads, so this doesn't apply as much. But if you're doing outstream ads or if you're using the Google Display Network to show your ads or just, um, their Display Network partners, you know, this is where you would choose the, the websites as well. And that's, I mean, that's basically it. You can choose it on apps as well. So you can show your ads on the Google Play Store or the Apple Play Store based on Apple uh, app category or specific apps. Like if you go here and, you know, you type in, I, I don't play Uniware anymore. I used to play it. I loved it. Um, you can, you know, choose and promote it on Uniware. In this case, not really relevant. Uh, but I mean, what if there's like a woodwork app, right? Let's see, woodwork. Yay, woodshop, right? So we can promote it when someone's about to download this app. It's gonna show up there, right? So wood turning. I don't know. I don't know if that's really relevant. Um, probably not, to be honest. And the yeah, impressions about stays the same. But that's the idea. Go through this wood wallpapers. No, probably not. And that's what you would do. Okay. So let's go back and let's name this. Okay. So we are naming this now. Ideally, what you would probably want to do is when you select these videos, kind of make a category of videos, like woodwork building videos or woodwork. Um, you know, project videos, woodwork table videos, whatever. That way, when you make the name here, you can kind of reference and then you can split test the different category of videos against each other, categories of videos. So in this case, it's kind of hard to give it a name because we're kind of all over the place, but we could just say, you know, we could just say woodworking YT videos. And then as you split test, then you test different things. You can test another placement with different videos or different YouTube channels. You can say, hey, you know, this group is for this YouTube channel, this group is for this YouTube channel, and so on. Then you can create a group for, uh, you know, topics, for keywords, anything like that, that's what you would do. So we're gonna leave it at that. Now this is where we set the bid. How much are you willing to pay for every uh, view, for every 30 second view? Let's say, you know, 0 0.15 cents, okay? So we'll be paying a maximum of 15 cents per view. So for, for every 30 second view on our uh, video, I suggest starting low and then going higher as you go. Because if you go too high, your whole budget might be depleted in like an hour or two. So it's better to start low, monitor the ads. And if you're not getting enough clicks, then you go in and increase it, right? So I would say start low, monitor your ads and just make sure that, um, you know, you're getting enough clicks. So that looks good. Now we can actually create the actual ad, which is the YouTube video right here. So we're going to click on details. Okay. We're going to copy this YouTube video right here. Let's go back into Google, let's drag it over here. And we're going to paste the video right there. And here's our video. Now you can select the format. So I'll told you, uh, so I told you that I'll tell you more about the formats. So the skippable in-stream ad, and if you click on this option here, it kind of tells you what this is. It's a video that looks like this. So basic video, you've probably seen it starts playing. You have five seconds. After five seconds, you can skip the ad. You can click skip ad. Okay. Until then, people watch the ad, and if they don't click skip, well, they watch the whole ad. Next, you have a video discovery ad. Video discovery ad shows up something like this on mobile, for example, or on desktop. So someone watches a video, it could show up under YouTube search. So if someone types in Ted's Woodworking, this could show up like at, as the very first search result, like I said, or it could show up on the side here, like over here, you know, you'll have the headline. This is a discovery ad, okay? So kind of like Google search ads is basically how this works, where when someone types in keywords or something, you see the ad at the bottom, whereas skippable in-stream actually shows up in the actual YouTube video. Next, we have a bumper ad. A bumper ad has to be a very quick video. It has to be five or six seconds long. This is a video that you cannot skip, and it's just gonna be like a little short six second video. You cannot skip it, six seconds, and it's done, okay? So it's good for brand awareness. Um, in this case, it's not eligible because, well, our video is 51 seconds long, so you can't not skip a 51 second long video. But that's the idea. Now, the next thing here is non-skippable in-stream ad. This isn't available because remember, I told you, remember this as we were creating our campaign, you have to select that specific campaign objective. That's how you're able to do it. And this is just an ad that's gonna show up during the video. It's gonna show up before, during, or after the video. And it's gonna be a non-skippable ad, uh, but it's gonna show up sometime during the video, okay? Next, we have an outstream ad and an outstream ad is an ad that's gonna start playing automatically on certain websites, on Google Partner websites. So it's not gonna show up on YouTube, it's outstream. This is mobile only. And as you scroll through certain you know, websites, there's gonna be a little video that's just gonna start playing in the background. That's an outstream ad. Again, you can't select it here because you have to go back under the campaign selection process. You have to select it separately, okay? So that's how you create these campaign ads. Uh, let's go from top to bottom. We're pretty much done here, guys. Um, you're gonna select a thumbnail. Like I said, if you wanna change the thumbnail, you would go in and change it here. Maybe, like I said, I like this. 
I, I like the way this looks. I would just add, you know, like free Ted's Woodworking Plans written somewhere. Otherwise, it looks good. We can leave it as is. Headline. So for the, um, actually, no, we want to do inscapable in-stream ad, right? So we want to make the ad uh, that shows up actually in the videos. If we do a video discovery ad, that's the ad that shows up on the side. So we don't want to do that. We want to do inscapable in-stream, but you know how to do a video discovery ad if you wanted to. You just fill in the headline descriptions and that's it. The ad name is for your reference, okay? We're going to do skippable in-stream. You don't have many options here uh, or you don't have much space here is what I mean. So let's enter the final URL first. We're going to copy this here. Copy that. Let's paste this final URL here because we want to direct people here. And like I said, let's change this UTM content. So what is this ad about? Well, this is going to be a review video, okay? That's what this ad is. It's, it's, it's uh, Barry's review. So we'll say maybe Barry's review. Barry's review and let's remove the video. And what we can do is we can split test, right? And like, like I said, the other review video doesn't work. YouTube doesn't allow you to upload it. You can try it if you want to, but it says error. Uh, this looks similar to a previous video that we had to take down. So someone abused uh, that video, okay? But once you create your own video, you can say instead of Barry's review, you could say my review. You could say Fiverr review video and you can test and you can see what, you know, what the uh, results are for each of them. Now for the display URL, obviously we don't want it to look like this. Uh, so I went ahead and somehow magically copied it all. We don't want this whole thing because it looks ugly, right? Right there, see that? So what you do want to do is you want to delete all that. Deselect it by accident. You want to remove the TEDs and that looks good. Now you could also capitalize it as you, if you watched my Microsoft ads videos, you notice that I always love to capitalize it. Um, you know, it just adds a little, uh, makes it stand out a little bit more. And that is pretty much it for this. Now, if you preview this ad, Sometimes it doesn't show the actual video, but if you preview it, um, there's no call to action here, okay? So you won't be able to see that. So what you do wanna do is you wanna make a more obvious call to action, because right now, people won't really know what to click on, right? So you do wanna add a call to action, I think you have to, and it's gonna show up right there, okay? So right smack dab in the middle of the video uh, looks much better. So what you wanna do is you wanna write the call to action. So what are we, what are we giving people? We're giving them free plans, right? So maybe we can say start now. Again, you only have 10, characters here not a lot of space at all guys so start now looks good and that's what the button's gonna say okay so start now or maybe get now we can say because they're gonna get their free plans for the headline we also have only 15 characters and we could say something like free plans for example or we can say woodwork plans and that's what it's gonna look like now it should you know on uh, this is mobile um on mobile, the call to action is going to be right underneath. On desktop, it's going to be in the video, but it should, you know, unfortunately we can't see this video here, but the, the call to action should look right there and there should be space, right? Because it's on desktop. So that's what that looks like. You can leave this as on companion banner. So it's just going to generate like a banner judging based on your video. So I would just leave it at that. And then for the ad name, this is for your reference. Again, we're going to say this is our... Uh, this is Barry's review, right? Because we want to be able to reference it. And that's pretty much it for this ad, okay? So we'll click on create campaign. Let me quickly show you how to actually uh, maybe split test this. And if you want to test different variations, I'll show you how to do that. So we'll do that. We'll click on create campaign. And this is it, okay? This is our video. Now, if you want to change up your placements, your topics, you can go into topics here and you can change it all up here. So here are the topics, okay? If you want to add some topics, if you go to placements, here are all the different placements that we selected. So we selected all these YouTube videos. If you want to change it up, you go here, placements, select ad group. You're going to select this one and you would change it up. Delete all these and right, change it. You have the demographics. Uh, you have the keywords. Keywords not as relevant here as for Google search, but it still gives an idea of what the YouTube videos or channels or websites are going to be about. So you can add keywords here. Uh, let's go to our ads here. So this is our ad. Now let's suppose we want to split test this. If you edit the ad, you're, you'll get a message saying that if you actually make changes, this ad's gonna be deleted and you'll get a new ad, okay? Not a super big deal, but what you wanna do if you wanna split test is click here, click edit, copy. You wanna deselect that and click on more and click paste. And then on this variation of the ad, let, let's suppose we wanna change something, right? So where's our, uh, it's our Ted's woodworking campaign here. Okay, we wanna click done. Uh, let's select the ad group right here. We'll click done, we'll click paste. And let's suppose we want to change our video here, right? So we're going to go in and we're going to change to make it a different video or a different call to action or a different headline, whatever you want to do. And then I'll show you how to quickly change the ad group as well. So instead of targeting, uh, you know, these videos, we'll target something else. So over here, we'll click here, we'll click edit. 
And yes, we have to edit that one. And now we can go in and change something else. So instead of this video, we're gonna remove this video and we'll add a different video, maybe a video that you did, right? You'll remove that, you'll change it. And then over here, instead of saying Barry's review, you'll change that and you'll say my review. Let's, right, for this one, you'll say my review, for example. And over here, you'll say my review. And you're gonna test and you'll see which one does better, Barry's review or your review, right? And that is it for the ads. Now let's go back into ad groups. And let me show you how, if you wanna change uh, the different targeting. So in this case, we're targeting videos. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to select this. I'm going to copy that. Uh, I'm going to close out of that. Click more, click paste. And this is the campaign. Let's click done. Uh, we don't want to pause in the ad group. So we're going to give it a second to paste. And then what you want to do is you want to go in there. You want to delete all the targeting that you set and you want to add new targeting, right? So that's new topics or new keywords or new uh, placements. Okay. Whatever you want to do. So give it a second. It's almost done and you're gonna select this ad group and you'll just do the changes there. So there you go, okay? So we can probably change this. So let's say for this one, we wanna do uh, woodworking YouTube channels, for example. Stop deselecting, this is really annoying, I'm sorry guys. Uh, we wanna do channels for instance, okay? So we're gonna do that, we'll select this. And now we wanna go into, not this, uh, for example, we wanna go into placements. Click on this little, uh, you know, little pencil icon here. And um, actually we can delete these. So let's click here, click there. We're gonna remove all these, right? Cause we don't want any of those channels and we're gonna add different placements, right? And that's the test. That's what we're testing, which one works better. Did it not? Oh, it says removing your placements. Okay, so I'll give it a second. And it says removed, perfect. So now we'll click it again. We'll click YouTube channels. And in this time, in this time we'll tap in woodworking. And let's suppose we want to test this channel, right? Let's suppose we tested this. We saw their YouTube channel. We love their YouTube channel. We thought it was perfect for our purposes and we'll click next. And now for this ad group, we're targeting these YouTube channels so we can compare and contrast and see which one does better. And that my friends is how you promote ClickBank products using YouTube ads. If you enjoyed this video, again, make sure to hit like and subscribe and check out my other videos, guys, where I show you how to promote ClickBank products on Microsoft ads, on Facebook, on Google display, on Google search. I have all those videos out. I'll put some of them in the description, but just go to YouTube guys, type in Ivan Mana, check out my channel. I have a bunch of videos there. Take a look, a bunch of useful content. Also, if you want more detailed courses on remarketing, check out my courses at ivanmana.com slash old dash courses. I have very detailed and thorough remarketing courses on Facebook ads and Google ads. And that being said, thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.